Okay, so essentially, uh, your group, after uh, the events from the festival the night before, were uh, finishing up in Volaki before you decided to head out. I believe it was Sazed and Dresley had went by to see Isaac before you had left. Was it Raylan? Yeah, Raylan and Dresser. What did I do? <laughs> you and Dresley had went. That was right. It was, it was you and Raylan. You, uh, Dresley and Raylan had went to Isaac, and spoke with him. Uh, oh, and he was all weak and gross. Yes, you had discovered that his, his uh, arm had been. Uh, withered the clawed hand uh, now um, emaciated and quite disturbing looking um, he explained that he that the burgomaster was essentially his family and had recently taken a dark turn in his actions and attitudes and uh, Isaac had kind of grown this appendage serving under him after everything that had happened it started to kind of seemingly dwindle away he had spoken to you about this place known as Argenvost Holt a uh, sorry a large uh, castle of knights or Warriors of the Light, perhaps, that had fought against Strahd. They they were not successful, but maybe they might have some kind of weapon or something that might be useful in the fight against Strahd. He warned about the uh, dangers of the road, especially on the uh, night of the full moon. Uh, the creature that Rictavio had spoke of in the inn, uh, the Dullahan, was known to travel the Zvelich Road on the Knights of the Full Moon, and this is a very uh, terrifying, headless uh, knight-type individual seeming to be riding a flaming steed uh, and he erred on the side of caution. I'm um, motherfucking hit the god crane, motherfucker. I don't think that there's anything specific oh no wait there was um you had went or says it had had an interaction um in the town square with what had appeared to be uh lady fiona walker and then she quickly disappeared um, searching back at the house your group had essentially determined that it was uh, likely that Lady Angelina had been there and whether or not this had been some kind of illusion or something some kind of trick being played by her was talked about and discussed I don't know if it was decided that that's what it was but <coughs> um, other than that your group prepared and set out heading west down this Vailage Road toward Kresk and the winery uh, following behind Rictavio's cart which uh, was also also had Nyjah and Irina traveling along or along inside as well um, and as you uh, we're traveling, you lost uh, a little bit of distance on them and they had gotten ahead of you, but you encountered a group on the road, uh, primarily one individual at first, uh, noticing some people hiding in the nearby bushes with your uh, very perceptive eyes, Raylan, and I think maybe Sazed? I don't know if you did a perception check. Raylan, Raylan and Sazed don't do anything together anymore. Wow. Ever. That bond has been irrevocably 
yeah. severed. Can they hold hands once? Or yeah. no? um, we're eventually going to just have a full blown on make out sex session, but until oh then, there's too much oh. angst. I gotcha. gotcha. I can be whatever you okay. want, baby. <laughs> <laughs> How you look I like granny. <laughs> I like that shapeshifter on there. <laughs> um, wow. wow. You have a fan on. Sorry, I was. No, he's yeah. Just... <laughs> that was the heavy breathing from his excitement at the problem. <laughs> I was, I was moving around the room, so my fan is always on. You don't always hear it. Oh, okay. I didn't want to say it was heavy breathing because it's not <laughs> quite excited now. Kevin, I mean, say so. <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, this group that you had encountered through uh, Sazed's bardic magic. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> you had uh, discerned from this group that their intent was actually uh, to ambush and assassinate your group um which led to an immediately hostile interaction which <laughs> was understandable and says it attempted to defuse leading to the retreat of some after a large show of force by nikolai and uh, the rest of your group um ultimately you killed their leader and any of them that didn't retreat and uh twilight soon approaches as you sit at this fork in the road after defeating all of these uh, bandits who uh, appeared to be uh, Vistani in dress and everything and claimed uh, after being asked about uh, to be um, members of Aragol's camp. And that is where we start tonight's session. Not that music. All right, let's hunt down Aragol. We are actually on our way to the winery, right? I Not searched their bodies. Like, I think we were, and then we also like were at that other graveyard place. I think we found the sign for it. Yeah, yeah. but we had, we had a hey, we got sidetracked. And... That's right. Go to the winery because there's people that was actually you know, known to be alive there. Oh and yeah, I the winery either on the way back. We were gonna check that place out. It wasn't decided yet which one. Because I feel like that'd be a lot of backtracking. Yeah. That's what that was the argument. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because we're here now. If we go to the winery, we'd have to come back here and then go back to Kresk. Did we search the main guy's body? And can I do that if not? Um, no, uh, no one has searched the bodies, so hold on. Alright, everyone, start rolling the corpses. Um, give me a, give me an investigation check, whoever is oh. searching the bodies. Oh god, I'm not gonna... Um, oh, isn't some of them kind of burnt to a crisp? Thirteen! Thirteen? Mm, they're okay. a little burnt. Um... Good thing magic items don't get damaged. They're not burning up! Fireball! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, searching the bodies that are nearby on the road, uh, you find uh, a couple of uh, fairly serviceable short swords. Um, the main leader seemed to have a, a leather whip on him, uh, as well as a small hand axe on his hip, and uh, a couple of daggers. Um, he's got a bag. Uh, seems to be quite a fair amount of coins in it, um, split between silver um, and gold. Um, there's also uh, a ring that the symbol stands out to you uh, that was in his pocket, and it's got the uh, the same W on it as the uh, flasks from the Walker family house. Those bastards. There was a note? No, it's a ring. A ring, sorry. Yes, a gold ring. Looks to have been maybe a little too small for this guy's fingers. Dude, there's a walk to a ring in here. 
presumably. Maybe it was part of the payment for trying to attack us. <sighs> they let Queen Elise eat all the coins. Okay. Um, he feels 115 gold richer. Oh my god. I have him spit out 15 platinum. Okay, it produces 15 platinum coins. I toss two to everybody. <laughs> Even Raylan. I fumble and drop mine in the dirt. I mean the mud. But why? I picked them up and slipped them into my robe. Raylan catches his and gives Cezar a polite nod. I didn't throw it directly to him. I don't know where he is. I just threw it in his general direction. Oh yeah, that's right. You were <laughs> hidden into a bush. Coins disappear from sight. Nobody knows where they went. Where is my character sheet? How do I use roll 20? It hasn't been that long, has it? No. <laughs> As feels like it's been forever. Um, what's 57 plus 15? 62? <laughs> 72. 72. Let's go with 72. 15 what? 15 platinum. I gave you two. Oh. <laughs> we each get two. <laughs> what's, what's 72 minus 15 plus two? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 57. So you said you pulled out 15, then you tossed everyone to... I get it now. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Your math is off. 15 was enough for everybody. It was enough, and then he's got, like, an extra three. Does anyone see what I did with my makeup brush? No? Okay, I'll just... <laughs> yeah, you might have to look for that yourself, man. I'm sorry. You, you were the one rolling in the bushes. Check that bush over there. I found it. I found it. We're good. Okay. Are we staying, are we staying in these ruins or are we heading to the winery? Uh, to the winery. To the ruins. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? I don't it? know. Um. It is evening. Uh, you've been on the road for quite a bit. I find a nice spot and start setting up my camp. Did you say it was raining? Um, it is not currently raining, no. But the ground is pretty muddy from uh, the large rainstorm uh, just the night before. And how's the moon looking right now? Oh. What's the like temperature? Um, it is climbing up in the sky and it is full, but not quite uh, quite up there enough to have an impact on you. Where in the hell is my character sheet? I'm having difficulty opening my character sheet. My when I, when I just keeps blinking at me. When I said it, I was just making a joke. I don't know what his issue is. Um, it would be about... Be about... Uh, give me an intelligence check, actually. Me? Yeah, uh, No, uh, Dresley for the time. Oh. So that would be average. <laughs> Hi, sister. Oh, my. It is, uh, <laughs> that it is, is not approaching... <laughs> it is approaching evening. Oh my goodness. Feels like morning. <laughs> She's so tired now. Yeah. One point of exhaustion. <laughs> Bon, can you set up my camp for me? My tent? I've never seen someone think so hard that it hurt. Yeah, it hurt. I cast <laughs> suggestion on Bon. So what was that now? Will you set up my camp for me in my tent in my sleeping bag? Are your fingers broken? I cast suggestion on him. You piece of shit. Is that a wisdom save? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Actually, from the stories of the that they were Ooh. telling us. Oh, that's the six. Maybe we shouldn't. I would love to. I. <laughs> Where's your stuff? What, Dresley? From the stories about the the headless horseman, maybe we shouldn't camp close to the road. Oh, but he's already going to do it for me. Are we suddenly worried of things that go bump in the night? I mean, I thought... it probably would be best to not be in the middle of the road. Oh yeah, let's find a good spot I mean, off the road. That part is obvious, but... I think at this point, we're the things that go bump in the night. Tim, do you think it would be okay just to go ahead and maybe head to the Rhone since it's getting so late and we could continue to the Rhinery in the morning? That's fun. It's fun. Yeah. I mean, it's already yeah, been a couple let's... days, so... Let's camp in the ruins, because this ground sucks. So I should probably put these poles away then? Ah, oh, yeah. Go ahead and put them away for now. Oh, Thank okay. you, though. Man, I feel the weirdest <laughs> feeling. Usually, I want to tell you to go fuck yourself, but I knew you. I mean, you asked, you did ask nicely, so <laughs> now I just want to fuck you. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Hey, that lasts up to eight hours there. <laughs> says it, so no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, the I mean, you can't, I don't the think you can, yeah, the, only, the only yeah. activity. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So all you can do is get him to set up your camp or tent for you. <laughs> Good to know that wisdom <laughs> core too. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> so camping in the ruins, outside the ruins, going or going into the ruins and just exploring. We've got the few oh, hours, yeah. right? I mean, I. I'm pretty healthy. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready to go. You do have things to do. I'll go take a look. No, I cast healing word on myself. As I say, look. Okay. Um, where are you looking off to? The road, uh, the road. heading south. Oh, we need the road. Uh, the ruins. The ruins are uh, probably off that direction. Oh, but, uh, I thought they were like a hundred. No, they're not away. within. <laughs> I see. I, they're not. Uh, no. You're at a crossroads here, and there was a there was a sign, a stone, well, a stone uh, monument with a silver emblem of a dragon carved into it. Hmm. Well, that changes my decision making a little bit. What I does? Assumed we were right next to the ruins. <laughs> Can you give me a perception check uh, down that do road. Do I see them? Oh, uh, perception. That would be a 19. A 19? Okay, um... Off in the distance, uh, down this winding path, you see uh, on the hill what appears to be a very large uh, castle of some sort. Um, gauging the distance that you've traveled and your uh, experience. It's probably about a few hours of a trip. Oof. The ruins are still but, a few hours away. Uh, but you do see them at the end of the road. Seems like such a random thing to have out here. This monument, and it's not even that close. I would have assumed we were, like, there. <laughs> huh. How dark is it outside? Um, it's that really awkward time between day and night where it's like, uh... Day and night. Dragons are weak, too, you know? They can't see or something, according to a movie I saw once. Well, if nobody else has any objections, I'm going to start heading down toward the ruins. Mm, let's Object. take a look real quick. Can I... You carry me. <laughs> you, we can see Fire. the whole way to the ruins? 
I can see all the way to the I can see all the way to the ruins. I, I have demon see. lock. I have, I have demon sights. So I think I can see better than anybody else. So I should be able to see too, right? Yeah, but what's that perception score, bitch? <laughs> oh. um, yeah, give me a. Yeah, if you want to give me a perception check to see if you can spot him from here. Um, sure. Yeah, a nice demon sight, <laughs> loser. Ooh, um, shit. They're pretty far off. It's hard to see exactly what they're talking about <laughs> through all the trees and everything. Okay. Uh, can I? <laughs> so, are we worried about this this headless horseman guy? Can I see it? I don't even remember this headless horseman guy. Can somebody refresh my memory, please? So um, Isaac w warned Dresley and Raylan of the headless horseman before we left. And Octavio was talking about it in the tavern. What's he after? Probably a head. Yeah, she's gonna cut your head off. Or a horseman. It's a tale to frighten children. So he just roams the countryside? This one's particular road. Only on nights of full moon. Worst comes the worst, we can just run away. Yeah, I think we could take him, right? Or we I'm give sure him Bond, who sure doesn't have much as of well a... as anyone else. Doesn't have much of a head anyway. His head's still there. It just has a worm in it, right? <laughs> not quite worm. as empty as not quite as empty as we thought it was going to be. Actually, oh, actually, a little bit no. too full. I think is the problem. More of a sarcophagus. I don't think he realizes we're talking about him just yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we should just go then. I start. Did we bring the horses? Yeah, we did. I yes, start riding. You have, your, <laughs> you have your carriage and your horses. Yes. So you're all loading back up into the carriage and uh, taking off on your horses? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and you're taking the road south or the road west? Uh, which one? Whichever one goes to the ruins. Okay, the southern road appears to go towards the ruins, yes. Southern road. I can hear the horses moving. Was oh, that the clap of of hooves? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's, I thought it was your rain. Horses... I thought it was rain. That's why I asked if it was raining earlier. <laughs> it's our horses. No, it is the sound of the, the horses traveling south down the Zvelich Road as the uh, sun slowly starts to set and yeah. the moon <laughs> rises to uh, its peak. It might just be the guy clacking two coconuts together. I was going to say, it's, it's either horses or two coconuts. Then we have to have a whole argument of how the coconuts got here. They're common in Barovia, of course. <laughs> um, Raylan and uh, Tem... As the moon starts to reach its apex, you feel the stirrings inside of you, of your oh, lycanthropic forms transforming and shifting your bodies uh, against your will. This is unusual for me, right? Yes. Uh, give me a uh, constitution saving throw, Temp, oh, as you are in the carriage. Oh, good. Okay, um, you buckle violently against it, and uh, in the throes of this pain, uh, throw yourself from the carriage and land in the mud as your feathers start to sprout out of your body and your oh, wings yeah. extend out. I'm gonna. Ah! I can't remember. I'm not sure if I'm driving the horse, but uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop the cart. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything I can do to have um, not like my am I I mean I'm, I don't control any of this right? Um, you cannot control the transformation. Uh, it's simply a painful process that you uh, go through. But as it does finish, which it does, you do feel the same level of control over yourself as before. Just uh, shaken from the transformation. You okay back there? Oh, 
No, yes, no, yeah, I feel fine. Um, not, not at the spidey? same time, Raylan, uh, you also, uh, under, are you still on top of the carriage during this? Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. give me a, give me a dexterity saving throw from up top there to make sure that you're able to stay on board. Um, you barely manage to hold on to the top as you undergo your transformation. And uh, this is a process you are a little bit more familiar with, so it is not quite as painful, but it is still unnerving. Um, what is a little bit stranger to you is your own personal level of control that you have over it. As uh, you start to feel this rage build up, you feel a, a cold hand touch you on the back of your shoulder and a uh, soothing whisper in your ear just shushing you, and you feel calm and in control. Thanks, Eleanor. Roosevelt? Did yeah. you really, <laughs> really? <laughs> what? <laughs> We've lost Boba. What, are what do you put in Discord? <laughs> That's all what I can think about Discord, every time yeah. I hear him, he's like, I'm on top of the carriage. <laughs> it's it's pretty good. On top of the car, dude. It's pretty good. <laughs> Why are they speaking in a That's foreign amazing. language? This is an American movie. I don't know, dude. I didn't read the video. I didn't listen to the video before I posted it. I just grabbed the first one I found. <laughs> that actually makes it better. That's actually <laughs> what is now happening on top of that carriage right now. <laughs> What? I don't even know what language it is. <laughs> Why does he grab his ass? <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's 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 Spanish. This is this is now canon. <laughs> this is what Rayleigh does on the top of the carriage every time, but only when no one's looking. <laughs> oh no, we'll, we'll fucking feel it because you know. It's, there's a nope. I'm so mad, John. You top. don't even. You don't even feel. He's it. in shadows when he does it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you what does a werewolf weigh? We probably hear you fucking slamming your feet around. Yeah, the fucking you guys probably, doing a fucking river dance on top probably, of the carriage. Feel the whole carriage buckle a little bit. If I had to guess. <laughs> okay, as these transformations complete, uh, your horses, uh, understandably upsetted by this. Uh, kind of uh, buckle and, or not buckle, but uh, buck and uh, kick against this. Uh, Bond, give me an animal handling check to try and keep the carriage under control. Big money. Okay. Um, you manage to keep them fairly calm, uh, but they do not stop. Oh. They will. They do not stop, and uh, Tem is left there in the mud. Uh, they seem to be accepting that there is a werewolf on the back of the carriage, but they do not want to be around it, so they're trying <laughs> to get away. They really can't get blinders for our horses. They can't see me. I'm in the. I'm behind them. I can fly, right? You horses. Can. Horses can't look up. <laughs> Seeing the carriage take off without me, I will. Get up to my feet and fly after it. Okay. Wait, guys, come back. <laughs> Ta-da! What is my flight speed? It's not. It's not as fast as a horse runs, probably. Eh, maybe. I doubt it. There's a carriage. Yeah. 50, and I, 50 and I, I did. Yeah, I feel I like it's the exact same oh, yeah, speed that a horse travels. And I, I tried to, they're probably going to touch slower, but they did not stop. There's a big ass wolf right behind them. I don't think they're slowing down at all. As you, uh, as you take to the air and uh, fly off, you see Dresley coming up just a little bit behind the rest of the group on uh, her horse. Um, keeping pace, you eventually all catch up together again. Um, and are heading sort of east as the road curves around, uh, but still south. Um, about another 
about another hour goes past. Um, is there anything that anyone wanted to do in this hour of travel? No. Just try to make sure the horses... I do the uh, Teen Wolf dance. Very poorly. <laughs> Very poorly. Probably about the same level of skill as he did. If we're being oh, honest yeah. with each other. He did a split. You fall through the uh, roof of the carriage. <laughs> oh, Not no. really. You Not broke really. it. Not... I think it's like, who's, who's all in there? <laughs> <laughs> Nikolai. <laughs> I think it's just him now. That's funny. Clearly, I am the leader of this party. It's, uh, what um, are you doing? Okay, after uh, about an hour, that. about an hour of traveling in uh, this fashion, um, Raylan, Sazed, and I believe Bon, uh, you all see a uh, bright, glowing light through the trees north of you. Um, it looks like uh, it would have been the road that you were on earlier. It seems to be traveling quite fast, almost parallel with your carriage. Um, but about half a mile or more away through the woods. Um, everyone else, you see uh, slight faint glimpses of light because of how dark it is, but uh, can't really track its pathing. Which way is um, the wind blowing? Well, give me an nature check. I can't just feel it as the carriage drives by. No, because the carriage is literally creating its own. Uh, it's it's going uh, it's going west because you're going east. Can I can I hear if I concentrate? on glowing light. Can I try to hear anything? Give me a perception check with uh, advantage. Um, you hear hoofbeats. Uh, it's a horse, it sounds like. And uh, maybe some kind of metal, but it's hard to make out what it is. You hear a metallic grinding noise, maybe. And hoofbeats. How far away is it? About a half a mile north through the woods. Could probably get off the road for a moment. See what comes by. Okay. How many I lead feet Nigel off in the a road. mile? 5,280. Into the trees. 5,280 divided by 2. Is okay, Raylan doing range. all this math in his head? Does he? <laughs> right, I hear, I, I hear it. Hear some, I, uh, a dead hamster trying to squeak. I was just trying to see if I could shoot him from here. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right, can I tactfully jump off the back of the carriage? Do you want to wait till we come to a stop? Nope. Can you give me an acrobatics check? Of course. One, 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 one. What the heck? Motherfucker. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what have you done? Ask take, and you shall receive. You take four bludgeoning damage <laughs> as you land uh, face first in the uh, muddy road. Oh, I, um, I, I would break like your to... ankle. I, I'm, 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 I, by the way, I would like to stop the car only like 10 feet away. Okay, uh, the horses do come to a stop just uh, a little bit after he jumps off. They I seem quite nervous and anxious, but they are staying. I lead Nigel off the road into the trees. I would hide. like to... If this is the road we're on, right here, right? Okay. We're headed this way. No, you're heading the other way. No. Obviously heading east, like I said. <laughs> like what you did there. Uh, 
how far daylight ahead. would be coming from the north. Oh, is it still moving? Uh, away. Apparently, I I would like to just. Out I guess of... it does. It does appear to be heading east, um, along the parallel road. Oh, can at I like quite a very up? rapid pace. Yes, you can fly up if you'd like. Because we can't because I can't see it from here, right? It's no, a we just no. Is... You can you can hardly uh, see anything but just glimpses of light off in the distance. I'd like oh. to get out from just kind of move around this tree, a, a tree. I'm this tree's not okay. But, but I just want to follow along with the carriage, like maybe twenty feet behind it. But you know the trees. Well, the carriage has stopped, so, but you're just trying to like move stealthily into the trees well, north of the I, road, or why the carriage stopped? I was planning to keep it, so that was my plan. Jump off in the woods. Failed already. And I got off the wagon. That's a success. Yeah, the bomb stopped because it looked like you fell. I stick the landing. No. With your face. <laughs> Yo, you're all right. I'm um, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna lean out the wagon and ask what the hell is going on. There's a there's a carriage moving at a yeah, high Nikolai sees none of this because he's uh, sorry. Marina's just gonna go ahead, Bob. No, oh, I was just gonna inform everyone that there okay. is a something running on the parallel road, at a high rate of speed. Not sure exactly what it is. And after the old headless horseman nonsense, I'm a little spooked. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Is there room in the front for me to sit up there with the uh, bond? Yes, there is room for two people on the front of the carriage. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go sit up in the front with the uh, old Bonnie boy. Good thing we went weird down. things been happening. I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if there actually was a headless horseman. Uh, oh, Tim, you, so I wouldn't be surprised either. You said you were flying I up. I don't want to be stuck in the wagon now. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. I feel safer. Yeah, I just want to fly up and see if I can get a, like a better view of like what <sighs> this thing is doing. Don't let okay. him see you. As you yeah, uh, as you fly up uh, above the treetops to try and get a view of the road across, uh, give me a perception check. Mom, mm, do I get my wear raven perception? Wait, no, uh, my yes. stats are the same, right? Now. Yeah, your stats are the same. Rip. Eight. Okay, 15. Um, Not bad. You can, you can see uh, an outline of uh, some kind of figure. It looks like it's almost completely made of fire. Uh, some kind of uh, long trail of flame uh, seems to linger behind it as it travels down the road. Um, one thing you do notice is that uh, it seems to be above the ground. The uh, creature, as it travels, is not touching the road. Oh, shit. Before anyone gets the wrong idea, don't even try to get his mount. It never drops. <laughs> <laughs> how, far, how far away is he? Um, a little over half of a mile. Um, he is moving very quickly, though, east. Is he heading towards the ruins like we are? Um, no, he seems to be heading towards Velaki. Oh, shit. We'll be alright. Probably. We should... I'll fly down and tell everybody, and I'll just see... Maybe we should stop him? Um... I think we should. Uh, I don't. I don't We've know. I think we should stop about, him. What's an hour down this road, and you want to go back? We can't go back. I mean, is he? He's on the same road that we are. No, no. he is on the road. It's you like were a on parallel earlier. Road, right? Yes. Yeah. The road you were on earlier runs parallel. I think uh, on the map. You can see it on the I map. Can... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a map. Yep. There's a whole guard, town full of a guard. They'll, they'll be all right. I'm sure it's not the first time they've seen this. A flaming guy on a horse? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they clearly have. They have stories horse. about it, yeah. Yeah. You think it's gonna go right into the middle of the town and kill everybody? 
It might kill one person. But in eh. this place, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, if it kills one, if it if it's gonna kill people, then it's worth it to stop it. Then go back and defend them. I'm going to the ruins. He's moving pretty fast. If we could get his attention from here, we could. He'll probably come to us. Why would we want that? So we can stop it from killing people. Uh, I start howling. I'm going to start shooting fireballs into the sky. Yeah, I will. I will start launching Eldritch Blasts yeah. in its general direction. I fart in its general direction. Or maybe just straight up in the air, actually, so that it's bright light. That's what okay. I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, but now he's got green bright light. Yeah, he's got green and red fireworks. Okay, as uh, as Nikolai starts to launch his bolts of fire up into the air, Raylan lets out a loud howl, and Tem starts firing these blasts of Eldritch energy up into the sky. Um, you can still you see the flame, uh, the image of this, or the light from this creature, continue to travel east. Oh. And then there's a slight pause. Oh. Oh. As it seems to turn around and you... go back west down the road. Son of a... Why? I'll keep an eye on him from here. I think he starts when he starts oh, heading our way. I'll let you know. We don't know anything. I'm up in the sky. I'll just stay like yeah. maybe high enough that I can see him, but also low enough that I can yell. I bring Nagel into the woods and tie him to a tree. Okay. I'm gonna hide in. I'm gonna from... hide into a bush. From where he's at, how does it look like? Okay, if he's going back, do I am I able to see the intersection of the roads? No, you cannot see the intersection of the roads from where you're at. All right, mm. well, well, let's open you the are carriage. too far down the road. Uh, you can see the ruins from where you're at. Maybe we will lure him to the ruins, so at least we have some cover when we're not out on the open road. He's already coming oh. for us, it seems like, so at least he turned mm. around. Asshole. It'll take him some time to get to us. It's not going to take him much time. He's moving pretty quick. Mm, yeah, but I don't think we should just hunger down here. We should move as far as we can and tie yeah, up when I... he starts getting a little closer. Okay. I've already I mean... tied my horse to the tree. If I untie him again, I'm going to the ruins and I'm not turning back. I mean, we could try to get to the ruins. How far away was it? It wasn't super far, right? You can no. give me a perception check to try and see <clears throat> about how far it might be. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, let's see. Um... Um, it looks like it would be about two and a half miles um, from your current location. Hmm. I mean, we could probably get, I mean, is there really a point to try to get cover? Well, it's not very far. Well, you guys summoned him. What are we doing? Yeah, this is your guys' show have, this time. We have time. I think we can keep going for a little bit until he gets closer. I don't, I'm just going I don't to the ruins. There's then. any, if any he point comes, just waiting he here. Comes. Sounds good. Go so to all, the ruins. You all start heading off towards the ruins then? Yeah. I will try to stay like 20, I mean, 30 I'm, feet I'm behind everybody. I'm not in control of where we're going because I'm just sitting in the passenger seat of the wagon. Okay. <laughs> So, are you a scrub sitting on the passenger side of your best friend's carriage, trying to yep. shoot fireballs at me? Yep. <laughs> but I ain't no scrub. Okay. Um, as you continue to travel down the uh, the southern road heading towards the uh, large castle-like structure 
seems to appear or appears to be sitting on the hill. Um, you can see the light from this uh, creature seem to disappear momentarily as it gets uh, as you curve around another point uh, down the road to the south. But then uh, you can see it clearly through the trees that it has gotten at least on the beginning of the fork to the southern road. Uh, as the uh, light seems to glow above the trees as it gets closer. I'd like to cast um, healing word. On myself. Okay. Seven. Seven. That's it. Okay. Um, about about a quarter of a mile away from these ruins now, you see uh, high above the river valley juts a quiet promen promontory upon which looms a sepulchral mansion. Its turrets capped with fairy tale style cones and its towers are lined with sculpted battlements. A third of the structure has collapsed as has part of the roof, but the rest appears intact. A dark octagonal tower rises above the surrounding architecture. Out of the fog comes a distant peal of thunder, quickly accompanied by the howling of wolves in the woods below. But the house stands silent, seeming like the fossilized remains of some long dead thing smote upon the mountainside. Cool. Uh, as you look back up north from the road that would or that you traveled, it appears that uh, this creature has started to gain some distance on you. It is still not quite within your eyesight, but uh, the glow of the light foretells that it is approaching quickly. Can I find a safe place to hook Nigel up? Um, sure. Give me a uh, give me a perception check. One. Twenty-one. Um, Twenty-one. Okay, there's a there's a spot in the woods, um, not far from the edge of the ruins, that uh, might provide cover and a good hiding spot for him off the road. Go ahead, come over there. Okay, what is everyone else doing? We're about to lose our carriage, I feel like. I am uh -huh. in the back. I have an arrow cocked, ready for this dude to show up. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think, is, it, is there any, like, spot I can, like, try to, I guess, put the, like, uh, what am I, th I'm, I keep saying cabin. Um, The carriage? Carriage. Is there any place I can put the carriage like behind like a boulder or something like that? Just so it's out of harm's way, not like trying to really hide it per se. But just something to keep it away from I don't know. Let's just Great fireballs. Fireballs, fiery heads. It does not appear as if there are a lot of accessible places nearby for the carriage. Uh it there does appear to be a large courtyard up ahead at the ruins, but um You'd have to take it off of the road and off into the woods, which is kind of difficult to manage with the carriage on how close these trees are. Okay. Um, just have Nikolai nice. cast Nikolai's Magnificent Stables. What a good spell. Uh, what? Wait, what? Really? No. Okay, so we're okay. at the ruins? Yeah. Um, not yeah. far from it. A uh, little less than a quarter of a mile away. Okay. You said there was cannons. Uh, Are any of them like facing the way he's coming? And do they look functional? Cannons? Did I say cannons? Oh, you said cannons with like cones. No, its turrets were capped with fairy tale style cones. Oh. oh. Turrets. That's why you thought cannons. Oh. But the turrets like the defenses, the battlements. This is this isn't an invasion. The large tower. I thought. Yeah, yeah I gotcha. 
Now I'm sad. The, other, <laughs> the owners of this territory did not prep for the war. <laughs> Xerix all over again. I mean, it only happened once. Uh, well, how far? How, like, how far away is he? Um, give me a perception check to try and gauge where the light's at from where you're at. He could be a mile. He could be two. A mile or two? Could be yeah. three. We don't know. <sighs> He's probably going to come down the road, so should we just start traveling towards him, or should we just go hunker down in the ruins? Well, on top of the battlements, at least it'll give us an advantage, right? Maybe he won't get in through the white gate, and we can just shoot him. <laughs> I mean, I'm not opposed to that. Fuck it. I've been just. You should really think these things ahead of time before you summon the big flaming guy to us. Well, we don't know if he's big yet, but uh, it's not we looking great. We can see him from here. He's pretty big. Yeah, we're in trouble. Yeah, we're probably not in trouble. Trouble. I'm not scared. <laughs> Well, you guys will be frontline. Good, congratulations. All right, yeah, let's get our asses uh, there or something. Get yeah, moved. like hit, move the cart off to the side. We'll pull the horse. We'll pull all the horses into the thing. We have at least two miles to go. Okay. He has at least two miles to get to us. We have time. I've already hooked my horse, and he is not leaving. He is safe. You also don't know what is in those ruins. That's that's true. Like maybe it would be a bad idea if we go in there. Maybe we should just you know stand like walk up a little ways so the carriage doesn't get destroyed and then. That could be his home. There could be more things in there too. We don't know. Oh man, could be his house. Nobody else has any suggestions. I said we just, like you said, bring the carriage up and wait and all ambush them at once. Yeah, I think Sounds that's the best, the best idea. Heard a rumor about this action economy thing. Okay, so you're gonna move up towards the ruins with the carriage and then uh, leave the carriage and head back. Is that my understanding? Take Does that time. make sense? Is that like the smart <laughs> Is thing that to something do? you I'm would asking, do? <laughs> I'm asking what you're doing. As a human being, is that something <laughs> you would do? <laughs> Knowing what you yes, know is that we're, we're moving between the carriage and the guy that's coming to us. Okay. Um, do you just assume it's gender? So, the, it's creature. horse man, not horse woman. <laughs> as you, it's actually, as you approach, it's actually horse them. Get it right. As you approach the edge of this uh, courtyard, the end of this road, uh, just outside the ruins, you see a ten foot wide, ten foot high cube of granite um, with a moss covered statue of a dragon. Its wings are tucked close to its body. It looks east towards the mansion. And that is where I will put all of you. You might have to zoom in because this is a looks on you, I'm already big map. In. What if this guy really hates horses? Okay. Something like that. There's two of me. Are there two of you? Yes. <laughs> He's cloned himself. Oh no. He's duping. Man him. For 24, 24 hours. hours. 23 hours. 
Can I go look at this statue? Why don't we put okay. the carriage inside the ruins? Because we don't know what's in the ruins. For all we, we know. Check, we... Why don't For we all... check real quick? We don't have time. The monster is coming now. Oh my god. Can I tell how fast he's approaching? How long it'll be till he's here? I'm sorry. Ask that again. <laughs> can I can I see this guy? You can, can see I, the can light how, from him, yes. Can I, can I tell how quickly he's approaching? Um, give me an intelligence check. To see if you can... Uh, Roughly gauge its speed based on uh, how fast. Oh it's my traveling. god! I give up. Um, it is moving at least twice as fast as all of you were. That's fast. I find a place to hide. I okay. Crawl into uh, the we got away from the carriage for a reason. Well, where are you putting the carriage, by the way? Um, I mean, granted, it's... it's yeah. It's a pretty big open courtyard, but... Yeah, uh, that's honestly... Yeah, put it behind that first little, uh... You're gonna move yep. the horses over there to the north, just beyond that, uh, tower? Yeah, we're just gonna hope for the best. Out of harm's way... Okay, uh, as you are going over there, um, hold on. Oh no. <laughs> I'm moving the people that are in the carriage so they can see what they would have seen. Uh, through the windows you see some broken debris within this uh, tower, and uh, just around the corner you see what appears to be some kind of iron gate. that uh, might lead into the building. I take a mental note of it. <laughs> so glowy. Come back, we need your light. Oh wait, no we don't, we're hiding. I don't, stay away. Yeah, why am I so oh, yeah. glowy? You have a torch, sorry. You always have a mm -hmm. torch. We just assume you always have your torch. Or your candle. You usually torch. have a torch out, so... <laughs> I, I usually have for now since we're apparently being okay. stealthy. Okay, um, Dresley, um, give me a. Um, give me a, I guess a investigation check. Oh, looking over the statue? Yeah. Um. Shoot, where, where is it? Get advantage because she's an artist. Yeah, the painter's supply thing. Oh yeah, you can uh, definitely use uh, advantage with that for your tools, of course. Like, I just kind of want to see how old it is, see if there's anything I recognize with it. Where's my tools? Okay, I'll go advantage. Ooh. Okay, um, this appears to be the statue of a, uh, a silver dragon. It's a uh, spiny frill is cracked in many places due to the passage of time. Um, you also notice that there appears to be um, some kind of, uh, or something with its jaw that allows for movement, maybe? Um, like it's a separate piece of stone. Um, judging by the age of it, um, it looks to be... Uh, comparably old to these stones at Strahd's castle uh, by Barovian standards. Can 
Can I look more closely at the job? Okay, um, it does not seem as if something you can move on its own, but you do notice there is uh, some sort of seam or something that uh, that makes this uh, the stone that makes up the jaw a separate part of the statue. And uh, it, the jaw itself would be probably um, 17 feet up in the air, so you can't quite reach it. 17 feet? Yeah, well, it's a 10-foot tall pillar, or a yeah, foundation of stone, and then the statue itself is 10 feet tall. Is there anything written on the base, or...? does not appear to have any markings uh, whatsoever on the base of the statue. Okay. Should just kind of be like looking over the statue and kind of mesmerized by that while she waits on the creature to catch up. Okay. Um, those of you that are trying to find a spot to hide, give me a Oh no. Give me an idea of where you'd like to try to hide, and then I will need stealth checks. I would oh, like to hide why? in the statue. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to hide in a place where even if I roll poorly, I'm still pretty hidden. Where I don't gonna... know what that means. Are you, are you going to cut up some grass and hide underneath it? <laughs> Inside the carriage? Like a little, little sod. Oh, I can't fucking... see anything now. What'd you do? I had to. It's nighttime. I forgot. I didn't set oh that to nighttime. It's like dim. God. Yeah, it was dim daylight. My God, I'm super bright. Uh, can I fly up on a roof somewhere? Is there a roof that I can fly up on? Um, give me a point at one, and I will. Uh, is there? Oh, You're just God. moving around. <laughs> is there a roof like right here that I could just sit on top of? I don't want to like go in the building. Yeah, make yourself look like a gargoyle. Ooh, even better. Yeah, is there a gargoyle that I can hide behind? Um, you would have to climb all the way up to the fourth floor. Like it I'm is, flying, it right? is way up there. Yes. Um, How many feet is that? You would have to fly forty feet. Forty whole feet. Yes, it is forty whole feet. Well, let's do it. Okay. Um, up here, it looks as if a uh, a large portion of the roof has uh, been torn apart or uh, fallen in. Um, there are also several um, ballista up here that appear to have been shattered and destroyed oh, in some way. Damn. That would have been good for the Spriggan. Um, let's... So none of, the, none of the ballistas are working? Like, they're all just... Uh, there is a... Uh... There is a ballista. Um, it is facing off towards the northwest. Um, it looks like it might be serviceable, but it is probably require more than a single individual to load it. And you'd have to probably, you don't see any ammo nearby. Oh. Okay. Like on hand. Then I'll just hunker down and and wait. Do Can I see the working place? ballista? Um, you are on the ground. Can I not see it? Hey, there's a there's a ballista up here, but there's no ammo. Do you see any ammo? I don't see any ammo. I don't know how to work this thing you either. Look no, around? I do know how to work this. No, would I know how to work it? I don't know if you have any background in like no soldier or no, anything? I don't. No, 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 no. Like, maybe if you had a soldier background or something. Yeah, like, I was thinking it was more like a giant crossbow. It's just a and... big crossbow. It is like a giant crossbow. Oh, I mean, you it? can give me an intelligence check if you'd like to see if Tem could decipher how to figure it out. Oh, God. That's like... Tem's not very intelligent. Let's, but let's try it, dude. Let's try it. Just a straight yeah. intelligence roll? Infinite ammo? Yeah, just a straight intelligence roll. Can I change my, uh, my weapon to a ballista? To a my ballista? Pack, my packed weapon? What? 
Do a ballista? No? Can't no. Do that. Okay. No, but wow. you could probably turn Fuck. it into a spear fired from the ballista. <laughs> oh, that's a good fucking idea. He, he definitely wouldn't have thought of that with a roll of three. Um, <laughs> it has a... Since I thought of it. It has a pulley system that, uh, or and a wheel, maybe. Um, you're not sure if you could figure out how to load this. I would like to. Let alone fire it. Do you need some help? Does anybody know how to fire a ballista? Nikolai, do you think you can figure it out? Oh, wait. Do I see Nikolai? Nikolai, do you think you can figure it out? I run over to Nikolai. I hope so. Where's he at? Oh, I thought he was down by the stack. I only rolled a six stealth, so you should be able to see me pretty well. Cool, let's go see if we can get it to work. Uh, All right, let me go grab his clothing and the mechanic door up there. Oh my god. Without consent? That is rude. Says it is the monster. The safe, it's a safe for hiding slot, too. I could have saved you a spell slot. He just wants to show All up. Right, I will Mr. inspect the ballista. <laughs> Misty stepped twice through a <laughs> sewer grate. <laughs> I'm just going to set both of you right there so I don't have to transfer you to another page. No, there's um, another page? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's the fourth floor is another oh. page. So. Oh my god. How many floors are there? A couple. I mean, I can see it. Well, use your head. <laughs> Usually, if out of floor is about 10 feet, you went up 40 feet. While well, oh, he tries no, to figure it out, I, I quickly look for ammo. Um, give me a perception check, or <laughs> actually an investigation check to see if you can search around and find ammunition up here. I would like to inspect the workings of the ballista. Do I take what okay. I rolled for perception? Because I rolled when you said perception, and it's pretty low. Um, well, it'd be. I mean, yeah, uh, six, six. Um, there does not appear to be any uh, ammunition that would fit this on hand or anything necessarily like it. Well, um, no ammo up here. Give me a, give me an intelligence check, Nikolai, to see if you can figure out how to work the ballista. All right, that's bullshit. That's what same I one. <laughs> My rolls are clearly broken. Me too. Um, you could maybe operate it. Um, it'd be a little difficult, but you could probably manage it with the assistance of another person. Um, you do not. You also do not see any ammunition nearby. Um, but everyone can see the quickly approaching light uh, from the road just north of you. Uh, looking about a quarter of a mile away at this point. Just um, beyond. Could you summon your weapon as a large spear? Oh, that's a good idea. Is, is anybody hiding a large behind spear? the statue? Yes, that would fit this ballista. Well, um, I, I can see the light too, right? That's approaching. Uh, yes, you can. Um, yeah, I'll make um... my... Oh, never mind. Go on, sorry. I want to cast light on the statue and move down here for the first sight. Okay. Um, how big is the light? 10 feet from light? It would be 20 20, right? Like a torch? Oh no, like. Dancing light is 10, and that's smaller than normal. A normal six foot spear. It's it 20, 20. It's 20, 20, yeah. Well, it says no larger than 10 feet in any di any dimension, so. Well. Can't put on. Just put a copper coin down. <laughs> yeah, I'll just put like um one of my crossbow bolts. Okay. I'm excited about the statue. Ooh. Like on the base of it. Crossbow.
Um, it would take me an action to resummon that every single time. So if we were two people firing it, I don't think that would be. Well, we could just use it, fire it once as a good opener. Uh, and then you could just do your thing. And I will stay up here and rain fire from above. <laughs> um, okay. I can do that. Can I can I summon out my 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 weapon as a spear or like a pike? Right, it's the same thing. I think I have a I just have a pike in my inventory, so I can see it. Okay. Uh, and see if it'll fit. Um, it does seem like it'll fit. Uh, whether or not it'll be a reliable piece of ammunition, uh, can't really determine. But it does seem to fit in the space. How big is a All crossbow right. bolt? About six foot. A crossbow bolt yeah. or a ballista? Crossbow bolt. bolt. Um, uh, it's like what a foot and, uh, and a half, maybe. Yeah. Would that be roughly half the size of a ballista bolt? No. Damn. <laughs> I do it's not twice think as so. big. Yeah, would it be twice as big? Oh, do we have any javelins? Oh, no, I don't. It would be, uh... It'd be a bit smaller, yeah. The ballista bolt's, uh, basically the size of a spear, yeah. You could double the size of a javelin if we had some. That's what I was trying to get with, with the crossbow bolt. Does I do not... Dresley have javelins? I don't have mine on me. I left them at the Mistborn Manor. No. All right. Looks like this. Uh, this bad one boy's shot. Be a one and done. I am not aiming don't... it, but I will help load it and prepare. Oh. Raylan shoot. and uh, Bond. What are you doing during? Well, they are preparing the ballista thing, and you see the uh, creature starting oh. to approach. Oh well, um, um, the only place to hide ready to is fire. behind the statue. So that's I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm going to sneak my way behind the uh, now glowing statue. I'll surprise him. Okay. Uh, give me a stealth check. And, Dresley, where did you say you were going off towards? Uh, in here, is this... Or am I able to get, like, inside? Um, it looks like a uh, pretty damaged tower. Uh, quite dilapidated. Um, I just wanted to see if I could get behind, like, this wall or something. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, are you moving Oseus in there too? Yeah, I'm still on. I'm still riding. Okay. Uh, you move into this little um, alcove of this uh, tower. Um, just beyond, to the northeast, in this other room, you see uh, what appears to be uh, a small blue light hovering in the air. Uh, moving about the room. Um, probably about 10, 20 feet up off the ground. Tom, you have crossbow experience, right? Uh, that was in another lifetime. <laughs> so, looking at the size of a pike and a spear and all these different like types of spears, would a pike be like maybe too big? Probably would be too big. I'd probably just need a regular spear, right? Yeah, I think it would have to be a spear. I think a pike is a little bit longer. This is like 15 feet long, so... Yeah, and I think you'd want it to be balanced so it flies good. All my Spears weapons are, are perfectly balanced. Yeah, so I'll summon out a spear then instead. Well, it's your weapon, so you probably have the best chance of firing it. Uh, I don't think I've ever launched one through the air like this before, though. I don't think any of us have. All right, well, we're going to give it a shot. Inspire him. I mean, it's only lasted a couple of minutes. How far away Inspire does the guy seem? Right before the guy gets here. Uh, then... You see, as you are uh, setting everything up up there and uh, look off towards the road um, that you'd come from, you see coming around the corner the bright... Uh, form of this creature uh, 
a man riding a horse, a long flaming, uh, or a long whip of flame trailing behind him. And uh, what appears to be uh, several small lights uh, traveling around him as well. Oh, I need to, uh, I need to change my pants real quick. I mean, I'm <laughs> hiding behind the uh, statue, so I don't think you'll... In bright light. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm behind the statue. Yeah. <laughs> um, as soon as I feel like he's in range, I'm going to launch the ballista at him. I would like My... to inspire him before I see him launching it. <laughs> and I would like to shoot my arrow at him as soon as he's within visual range. Okay, I would like yeah. To release uh, a fireball. Maybe, you guys are all, oh, you guys are jumping in conclusions. As as he might be he might be a good guy. Oh, Normally. we're jumping to conclusions, yeah. 100%. Yeah. All right. Where am I? Yeah, it would I'm be already, it would be I somewhere. Here? You're probably like right yeah, right there. Um all right. right here? Yeah, it'd, it'd be about 100 something feet. I'm pretty sure yeah, the ballista has that kind of range. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, but Tam is releasing the ballista. I am going to throw a fireball, and its range is 120. Okay. Um, is there anything you would like to do, Bon? Uh, Drizzly as well. Other than now that I'm safely hidden behind this uh, awesome uh, statue that is nice and uh, bright. Uh, no, I mean, that's really all I got. Okay. Uh Get get my uh, get my aim ready for a uh, for uh, for this guy because something tells me I'm gonna have to make my shots count. Okay, um, Tam, as you uh, as you fire with the ballista, give Wait, me I a. Wait, I fired uh... him. That's the uh, that's the stats. The for plus a bolt. to hit for a bolt. Yeah. Okay. No, this isn't a bolt, but you know, it's just some some guidance on range and. I feel like that's damage. fair. Um, okay. What kind of give what kind a, of roll do you want? Uh, give me a d20 Am I plus not? plus six. What? Am what's I not that? To inspire him. Oh, give me the inspiration. Yeah, sorry. Before he. I fires. mean, yeah. If he wants to just shoot, though. Yeah, so I'm gonna roll it with the inspiration. How much is the inspiration? I'll first sick. I'll pull out my viol and sing for you really quick. He's going to fire this ballista, and he better not dare miss ya, for we've only got one shot, so give it all that you've got. And that's a D8. Okay. Ooh. So bad. that's going to be plus 5 to whatever you roll. So it's a 1D20 plus 6? 1D20 plus 6. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, so that is 29 to hit. Are you aiming for him or the horse? I am aiming for his horse. No! <laughs> oh, that's okay. a really Try rare throw him off the horse. Roll 3d10. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. Respectable. You could have just knocked him off his horse by hitting him with a... 15 pound weapon going That's at accurate. like 300 feet per second. <laughs> listen, not kill my not smart. listen, listen, okay, maybe all a... the source of his power is the horse. Give me an attack roll, uh, Raylan, as you shoot uh, your arrow out. Does he see me? Uh, he has not seen you yet, no. We get a so close would it be up? A with advantage? Yes. Wait, did you roll a stealth check? Um, if it's dark, I'm invisible. Yeah, I, I'm I can roll a stealth check for you. Yeah, roll a stealth check to see if, if you, you get lie. advantage. Just to... Okay, yeah, you're you're sneaky. <laughs> wow. Okay. We don't need to have him roll ever again. Except for acrobatic checks. That is a 15? No, just I just mean for stealth. Uh, who are you aiming at? The headless <laughs> lowest AC. Yeah, which one has the lowest AC? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, I was aiming at the I was aiming at the big guy. 
The okay, uh, your arrow flies uh, just past uh, where his head should be. Missing him. Center mass, Raylan. Every fucking time, center mass. Okay, um, Dresley, was there anything you were doing for your surprise round turn? No, he's too far away. Okay, um, were you not rolling a firebolt then, Nik Nikolai, or...? I'm waiting for you to tell me I can. Oh, go ahead then, yes. Roll an attack for firebolt. Let's see, 14. Um, I don't know why that were automatically you aiming rolled the damage. Uh, him. The dude. Him, okay. Uh, it flies off uh, through the air, just past him, seeming to mingle in with the flames given off by his horse. Um, I need everyone to now roll initiative. That was the worst surprise round ever. Oh, shit. But it felt so good. Oh, oh gosh. We got the fire ballista, so it's cool. Big one and a whammy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Why are there two saces oh, on here? Why are there two saces on here? There's not two There's two dressleys as well. I only see one. I see two. You must have What'd you roll? Like... Did you already 15? have us on the map and then decided to roll us and transfer us all back over anyway? No. Because no, I don't have a double of everyone. Well, yet there was two I... me when we first got here. I'm talking about on the turn order. Oh. What'd you roll, Chase? 16. 16. I think everyone's on here right now. Ow. Okay, Nikolai, at the top of the turn order, what would you like to do? Throw another firebolt. Why is that automatically rolling damage? I don't like that. I don't know. That's a. It might be something you have set. Um, your I didn't have bolt of, Your bolt of fire splashes on the ground right in front of his uh, steed's um, feet. I don't see Vaughn on here. You don't see Vaughn on here? I see Vaughn oh. on here. I also don't yeah, see Vaughn on there. Yeah, look towards the uh, bottom of the list. Well, you should no, be. You yeah, you rolled a 12. Room. That's surprisingly oh, zero. in the top. Oh, yeah. It's in the very there, right. there, I fixed him because I don't think he clicked his character. Yeah. Oh, shit. You're right. Oops. Yeah. Yep, there we, there we go. Like a fourth piece of shit. Anyhow. Uh, you see the steed's attention uh, turn up towards um, up towards the tower up there. Duck I... behind the parapet, ending my turn. He can't fly. Okay. There's no way. Also, uh, Raylan, a... Europe. This is not very good combat I music. All right. <laughs> yeah, Can it's I... like How far is that away? That's too far. I'm assuming since I shot at him, he knows I'm here. Can I run yes. over here and bonus action hide? It's on the other side of the road, uh, just yeah. kind of duck into the shadows, uh, hillside a little bit there, ditch area. Did you say if the horse? Did you say the horse was affected by the ballista bolt or not? Uh, it did look to be hurt by it. Yes. Well, I didn't mean to roll with advantage, but twenty-two. Uh, twenty-two. Okay. And then I would like to uh, take three shots at the guy again. Okay, go ahead and uh, roll. Would I have advantage? On the first one, right? Yeah. Yeah. He does not seem to have noticed your stealthy, sneaky maneuver of running <laughs> across the road. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll damage. Twenty-five plus fifteen is forty. 
That's supposed to be in another six too, right? For what? Your sneak. Uh, From. It's two D six. Two D six. But and it then, only gave you one D six or one six. Oh, I think six. I have my sneaks. I think I have my sneak set to just plus six. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Sneak it. Oh yeah, on crit six instead of double. So it should be on crit twelve, right? Yes. So there's another six. Oh my yeah. god. Um, Forty-six points of damage. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> okay, you watch as this uh, strikes into his armor, uh, the bolt causing a a tremor through his body uh he does buckle a little bit back from it but uh seems to take it pretty well what can attack i would like to do it again okay go ahead and roll another attack that hits Twenty points of damage. And then for my dread ambusher sh actually oh fuck me. I marked it off but I didn't actually say it because I was trying to read what it did. Oh, can I go back and for when I do my sneak attack, can I do my whales from the grave on his horse? Um yes. Uh go ahead and roll that. It's just 1d6. 1d6. Half my sneak attack. One Get them, Eleanor. Ooh, nice. You see uh, Eleanor manifest next to his horse and reach up and pet its mane, and it uh, seems to have injured it in some way. Oh my god. <laughs> she's not the flashiest of ghosts, but she's useful. What's this steady aim say? You get advantage if you don't move. And use your bonus action. Uh, interesting. Alright, anyway, back to my story. Uh, one more shot. <laughs> back my to story. your story. <laughs> okay, another hit. As this arrow strikes into his armor. 24. As this barrage of arrows pierces into his, uh very rusty looking uh breastplate um his body does shake from the impact but he appears to be approaching completely unimpeded anything else for your turn uh no just look super cool okay At the uh, end of your turn, before yours says it, uh, he is going to move. Oh no! In a weird zigzag. <laughs> uh, actually, directly over towards um, the werewolf that shot arrows at him. <laughs> How does As a legendary mean? action, and he is going to make an attack with his uh, long flaming whip. Legendary oh. action. Wait, 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 wait. He has a whip? <laughs> a flaming, it's flaming whip. flaming whip? And that is a, on a 23 to hit. And then a crit, he cut your head off. Um, do I have... Cutting action? I don't have evasion, do I? That's or... level seven, no. Yeah. Or, not seven, whatever, sorry. Whatever. Whatever the one, yeah, I'm only level three rogue. Um, that hits, unfortunately. Okay, you take uh, ten slashing damage and seventeen fire damage. Oof. Okay, you're gonna have to give me those numbers again because they were um, wrong. ten slashing and okay. seventeen fire. I wasn't even on his turn. <laughs> okay, that. Uh... Uh, say it, it is your turn. I don't, I want to leave. If you uh, begin your turn, no more than, okay, that's sweet. Well, with my vials still out, I'll 
thing down. Oh, wait, is there a range on that? Hold on. There might be a range on that. Yep, 60 feet of you. Never mind. He is too far away. How far up am I? Shit. <laughs> 40 feet. I, I don't know what the layout is. Am I able to move anywhere? Like, can I Hold walk on, along on. the top? Um, yes, you can walk along the top over to the front of the um, door area, the steps that lead up to the door. Uh, it does appear clear through most of that. Uh, the only area that you can't really climb on would be the, uh, I mean, it looks like southern edge from here. Yeah, the southern edge. And I then... Fuck. That Why still puts you out of range, away? yeah. I'll just action dash over here. I'll put you right there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't see shit now. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, it doesn't really. If this guy kills Raylan and puts Raylan's head on his body, I'm going to start playing as him instead. I put an eye down there. <laughs> yeah, um, put put an eye like right, right there. Oh, you can move it. Oh, I don't know where it's at. Gosh, it's so small. <laughs> it's a teeny tiny eye. Oh, yeah, these squares are what, like twenty feet? I yeah, think? they're they're a twenty foot square. They're ten feet across. Yeah. Um, that end your turn. Dresley, you are up. Okay, so now that they're surprise things over, and he's gotten closer. And Ridley's gonna die. Fight um, him. Oh, I, I can't really see Raylan. He's hidden. Um, That's right, I can't see anyone else either. I feel like I'm all alone. Well, I just, I rely on dark vision. Um, I also rely I'm on gonna, people having dark vision. I'm going to move up next to him. Uh, my horse has 60 feet of Where is So like right there? Mounted battle. Yeah, just right next to him. And she'd be like, sorry love, cavalry's here. Cues love. Okay, 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 okay. And... Oh my god, I don't know how you do it. Just trying to go between my character sheet <laughs> and my horses is hard. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hit him with my Warhammer. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack. Wait, I have a bonus action somewhere. Uh, uh, yes. This one. Okay, you're gonna bonus action channel divinity on him? Yes. Okay, uh... So you approach on your horse, and you utter out these, uh, words of vengeance upon him. You get advantage on attack rolls for a minute. Or until it drops to zero hit points or falls unconscious. Advantage I will mark that toggled. somewhere. Okay, okay. that's it. And he's... he's... He is on dead. Thing. He does appear to be on dead. Okay, you're smiting him. That's 24. 
Okay, uh, as the blinding light ricochets off from your uh, warhammer striking into him, uh, he recoils back. Uh... Oh, here. There it is. I asked for that earlier. Oh my god. Sorry. Where's his head? It is real. It's, it's down right there, there by his foot. Oh. oh yeah, look at that. There's two of them. I feel like we've seen that before. A different color. Probably. A different lifetime, <laughs> perhaps. Um, anything else you'd like to do with your turn, Trisley? My second attack. Okay. That hits. Roll damage. Okay, and I'll use a charge for this one. For Divine Smite 2. Okay. Uh, as the second strike strikes into him, he holds uh, onto his horse by the reins and it rears back in frustration. The horse is the real one in charge. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no, that's it. That's bonus action in my two attacks. Okay, give me just a moment, sorry. Well, well. Okay, um, at the end of your turn, before your turn, Vaughn. Oh no. Um, he is going to use a legendary action to have his horse kick at you, Dresley. What a dick. As it brings up its back hooves, it is a 25 to hit. You take, uh, well, come here, 18, you bitch. 18 bludgeoning and... Oh, five fire. Ouch. Those are some hot hooves. Eighteen and five fire. Yes. Um, and you are up, Vaughn. Oh, boy. Uh, he doesn't see me, right? I'm still a sneaky, sneaky boy. Uh, yes, you are huddled there by that statue, and his attention seems focused elsewhere. He's oh. also engaged uh, with oh, someone yeah. as well. So. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I got the I got the I got the advantage ready. I'm gonna do the old sharpshooter here. Try it out. I think this might be the first time I actually get to use this little guy. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm gonna throw my dagger at him. Okay. I'm gonna okay. rename it soon to something funny, but I'll get back to you on that one. Your uh, mind will. Eh, I, I'm thinking about calling a one-trick pony. Okay, uh, 17 does hit, so that is going to be 35 damage. Technically, oh, that's minus 5. Elaborate? Is, with sharpshooter. Is, is, is it sharpshooter? Does it do minus 5 to damage, or is it... Oh, yeah, it is oh, minus yeah. 5 to your attack. Oh, I did not yeah. see that. Um, so that would be a 12 to hit, which does not hit. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Your uh, your dagger flies off through the air, uh, just past him, oh, between him and Dresley. You forsaken me? Got another one? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. That's 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 it's it's time for my little knife. Oh, two trick pony. <laughs> uh, your second <laughs> Zero trick knife pony. flies off, uh, almost the opposite side of him as his horse rears up, kicking Dresley. I'm a little rusty, guys. <laughs> ah, I, don't, I don't know what happened. Anything else you'd like to do with Man, your Man, that inspiration would have helped. Probably. If I had it. Nope, that's all I got. I got, uh, I'm gonna sit here, huddle, and, uh, contemplate my, uh, life decisions. And, oh. uh, get ready for, uh, next round. Hopefully I will hit the person. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, on his turn, if I can get it to work, um, he is going to make 
uh, one attack out towards Raylan. If it rolled. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> that is a 16 to hit. That is my armor class as a werewolf. You take 9 slashing and 8 fire. So 17? Yes, 17 total damage. As the whip streaks across. Um, how far away are you, um, Bon? Okay, you are within range. As he turns oh, yeah. towards you, <laughs> oh, wait, you, oh, see no. this, uh, <laughs> you see this uh, flaming visage of a skull appear in his uh, left hand as he launches it towards you. Uh, I'd like to counterspell that. It is not a spell. Fuck. I would like to uncanny dodge that. <laughs> that is a 20 to hit. Oh. Yeah, that definitely fucking hits. You take uh, uncanny dodge, it's half, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. You take... Um, did it roll right? Oh, it did. Okay. Um, you oh. take four fire damage. Oh, good. That's ah. not bad. Oh. Yes, he did not roll very well. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, yeah, <laughs> that didn't is... roll right is either too high or too low. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I wasn't oh, sure which way I was going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to end his turn. Um, it is now his mount's turn. Is going to take uh, an attack out towards Dresley. That is a 10 to hit with its hooves. I say a sidestep to it. Yeah. And then he is going to fly. Uh, let's see. Actually, he's going to stay at his current location. He's going to stay right there. Tim, you are up. Unrelated, this looks like a dog's face. Tim. Tim. Uh, oh my god, I was talking, I was <laughs> muted. You guys could have oh, heard okay. me. I was talking the whole <laughs> time. I was measuring distance, you know, I was like, here we go. You were okay. you're stuffing your mouth full of ribs. Don't lie to us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm done with that already a long time ago. Um, Let's see. We're at 120 feet, so I'm 120 feet. I'm going to fire my Eldritch Blast. I'll get two of them. Okay, go ahead and roll. Uh, Eldred. Ooh, Ooh, a crit. First one Ooh. hits. Uh, are you aiming for him? I'm aiming for the rider, yeah. Okay, I'm aiming for the rider. Thank you. That hits roll so... damage. Boom. Oh, no hex please curse on that, though. Oh, fuck. Could have been. Have extra... Oh, is it? Yeah, that's not a crit. It's not a crit, actually. That's not a crit? Not a crit. Plus 10 damage. No, because it critted oh, on a 19. Yeah. Because wow. I have hex please curse on. Oh, okay. Like a noob. So you All should right. have had it. Okay. So, but it's still 12 damage. Yes, that is correct. Right. Yes, that is correct. So we're good there. Next so 12 one. damage is the force blasts into him. Yeah. Okay, next one. Boom! Oh, it stupid. also hits. Roll damage. Uh, blame. Okay, as the oh. Eldritch energy shocks his armor, and he, uh, he does seem affected by it. Cool. Um, Anything else you'd like to do? That is... that is all. That is all for my turn. Bonus action. Ah, bonus action? Probably should have did this first. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> then, Yeah, then you would have crit. Yeah, probably would have. Yeah, I'm done. That's it. Okay, um, at the end of your turn, um, see, Dresley, um, uh, and, um, Raylan, I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw as this 
inhuman and terrifying howl escapes from the open neck of this creature. You both manage to steel yourself against the wave of fear that you feel start to wash over you um, and continue to face this creature. Nikolai, it is your turn. Uh, on the since we're on the roof, can I move on the roof? I don't. Move yes, you can't move like. on the roof. It is uh, very dilapidated and uh, messed up looking, but um, it you watch Sazed traverse across it fairly easily just moments ago. I'd like to get closer to them so I can see better. I can't tell what's going on. My vision is blocked by this pillar. What's your movement speed? Uh, thirty. Can I mean, you drag uh, drag an eye out to here? Okay. Uh... That way I can move it to where you'd be able to see from like your position oh. on the roof. That works. Well, now I can just see what's going on. So. Oh, it's a big um... eye. I'll put it like right there, so you can see. Uh, what's going on over there? Um, you would be positioned about, see, 35 feet or 30 feet. Yeah, even right here would be good if this is part of the roof. Okay, yeah, you'd be able to see from the first, fourth floor over to there. And I'd like to, excuse me, use a spell sculpting, and then I'm going to cast Sickening Radiance centered on uh, the fight down there. Okay. Um, you can ignore that damage. It doesn't. It won't occur until their turn starts. That is a really good roll, though. No. I'm sure, when I do it, it'll be like three. Three damage. Okay. Where do you want this big, horrible thing? Right in the middle <laughs> of the fight. <laughs> like there. Right. Right here, basically. Where it's at or no? Right here. Okay, hold on. Center it there. Got you. I will spell sculpt so that my friends are unaffected by its glorious light. I'm not your friend, comrade. Okay. You don't have a choice. Uh, okay. As you, as you release this energy out of your hands, this uh, swirling light of uh, nauseating green energy manifests in a swirling mass around uh, around the fight below. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Uh, no. Okay. Is there any kind of cover um, up here, actually? Um, there, there is the uh, actual battlements up there um, of the ramparts where uh, archers would be able to shoot from. So right, you like would... I'd utilize cover while I'm concentrating on this spell. You would have about, uh... From, from down below, probably, uh, half cover. Alright, I will keep that in mind. One half... Cover. If you lay down, you probably get full cover. True. Uh... Can I... Don't... Do I... I, I don't know if I... I guess I don't need to be able to see to concentrate, huh? Correct. Correct. I will take a knee. <laughs> okay. Um, Raylan, you are up. And yes, Dresley, he would have had the plus five from your aura of protection because it's ten feet. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, then he would have been in range of it. Am I, like, right next to this dude? I have. That's you are, yeah, yes. Alright, I will take two slashes at him with my claws. This is essentially how it was. It's just hard to uh, uh, hard to make it look like they're riding horses. That hits <laughs> roll damage. And I get sneak attack because Res Dresley's within five feet of him, right? Yes. Sweet. Damage. 
17 points of damage. And then I'll uh, slash him again. Okay. That also hits. 15 points of damage. Okay, as your claws uh, brutally strike into him and uh, his armor rusted and aged by time uh, spews flames out into the air, you hear these uh, unearthly screams echo from inside his armor. That's supposed to be for my turn. Um, and then I would like to use my cloak to teleport 30 feet this way. Okay. And bonus action hide once I get there. Okay, give me a Jesus stealth Christ. check. Okay. And I lick my wounds. Ew. Okay, at the end of your turn, before uh, before Sazed's turn, he is going to uh, oh. move right past Dresley, oh. directly over towards you. Right out of the spell. Seeming to seeming to move too fast for you to be able to react, Dresley. I, I know, you wanted to smack him, but he <laughs> is able to evade the opportunity attack with this. And he is going to strike out again with his whip. Um, as he does, you hear him say, there is no escape. I escape. That just rolled damage. Why didn't it roll the attack? That was weird. Because it knows it's hit. Like, <laughs> we don't know hit. that yet. He rolls a one, cuts his own horse's head off. That is a twenty-four to hit. Oh my god! Um, you take uh, five slashing and fourteen fire damage. Ooh. Total of nineteen damage. Motherfucker! You just moved even farther away from me. Uh, Dresley, you are up. Wow! I am going... Oh, Raylan falls unconscious and shifts back into his humanoid form. Wish you would have done that in a circle. I don't think you the... could fucking follow me. <laughs> He's so fast! What's the radius on that? Because it's 30 feet, right? Because it should still reach him. 30 feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll still reach in there. It's just that the thing it's doesn't go out that It's got a weird polygon. <laughs> yeah, it's got a weird polygon thing. But it falls within his square, it'll still reach him. Alright, I forgive you. I'm going to... Gargo go wants to... Sason wants to go. Okay, you're gonna move down next to him. Can I take my uh, turn, where at? Oh, yeah, Sason. Hello, am I Sorry. muted? <laughs> No. Sorry, Sazed, I didn't hear you. I, I forgot. You what you didn't realize it. is that the Headless Horseman went so fast he took your turn. Oh, okay. That's yeah, funny. he went so fast that he actually snatched your turn up. It's a it's an extra legendary action. Go ahead, Sazed. What would you like to do? Uh, I apologize. Well, move down here, I guess, for one. To the front of the oh, uh, my building. God. Still out of range. Uh, action dash. I don't know exactly how far I can move on these things, but get down here if I can. You could move. Oh, can I just go straight down? Yeah, I you could have went straight, same. technically. <laughs> so, yeah, you didn't have to run along that. So you could have, like, split the difference. 60 feet would get you, like, right here. Oh, yeah, I'll go down there then. Okay. Uh, from there, you can see Raylan down on the ground beneath this uh, headless creature. Bonus action, healing words say you owe me. Uh, 
Nine points of healing. Does he turn back Nine. into a werewolf? Because this is going to uh, be really funny. From the full moon? Yeah. Uh, yes, he would. <laughs> we did this last time, I feel. Yes. <laughs> it did happen to him before. Give me Does that end your turn? Uh, bonus action, action, yeah. Movement action, yep. bonus action, yes. Uh, Tressley, you were up. Oh, oh god. Okay, it is getting late. Um, I'm gonna move down towards him. And as I'm moving... Who the moving, fuck is sitting in the 30s music? Uh, that's my wife saying, sorry. <laughs> You're going to what? Uh, I'm going. I'm going to a uh, bonus action cast that. Okay. And I'm going to take attacks at him with my warning. Okay. Advantage toggled. That hits. Roll damage. All right, so the divine smite and All right, thunderous thunderous smites cast separate. So there's that. Quit. And not the not the radiant damage up there, just the twelve. Okay, uh, so that would be 21 plus 12 is 33. And it has to succeed on a strength saving throw or be knocked, or be pushed 10 feet away from you and knocked prone. Okay, he manages to maintain his uh, position on his horse as this uh, blast of sound and radiant energy echoes off of his armor. It's 12 points for the Vine Smile when I hit him again. Okay, that hits. I can use a charger in my gloves. Okay, oh, um... Do you want to look at that? As, uh, as this hit echoes against him, uh, as well, another blast of radiant energy shines off him. He's starting, uh, he's starting to look rough. Oh god. And that's all I got. That's bonus action. Is that everything? Yeah. Okay, Vaughn, you are up. Oh boy. Well, um, uh, is this green gas like bad? Yeah. Or... Okay, yeah, go well, find out. Uh, You're not yeah, sure? Yeah, bad nope. for him. I'm gonna step over yonder, because he is now out of range. <laughs> and I'm gonna throw my my <laughs> knife at him and uh with a can do attitude. Okay. Because uh there's no sharpshooter, I still get advantage. And, uh, big whammies. Uh, that hits. Okay, as, uh, your psychic dagger strikes into him and, uh, he shifts, uh, or he slumps off to one side, uh, looking to be barely hanging on still. Oh, wow. Well. I'm gonna whistle over his way and say, hey, catch. Oh my goodness. 
Uh, but that wouldn't be with advantage, so it'd be the or 24. Fuck. Or the sneak attack, so it does, <laughs> yes, uh, 6 damage. <laughs> and he uh, appears to maintain upon, or himself upon the horse. I'm gonna Golly, pull the bird. dude. That's about all I got. What a fucking roll for sneak, too. That would what be... That would have been plus 24, too, not 14. If that was a sneak attack. Yeah, it would have been nuts. Oh my god. It would have been a huge <laughs> blast. Um, at the end of your turn, before his turn, he is going to have his horse kick up at Dresley again. Oh. For a uh, 13 to hit. I was going to try to get that. Right horse it. sucks. We'll say he carries um, it with his own hooves. He is uh constitution saving throw. Going to make a constitution saving throw at the beginning <laughs> of his turn. And the stupid horse he rode in on. Yes, and the stupid horse he rode in on. Just in case he fails. He will take Ouch. this damage in one point of exhaustion. And glow. <laughs> so will the horse he rode in on. <laughs> if it fails. If, if you fail, you shall Okay, uh, you, you see the horse and the rider both buckle under the oppressive force of this uh, radiant damage um, the rider his flames inside of his armor snuffing out as he falls to the ground next to the horse wow oh. what a way to kill him <laughs> just, just a moment after uh, his armor hits the ground and the flames along his whip die out they spark back up and you watch as the armor stumbles back, uh, looking to be blazing brighter than before. Uh oh. He's got eight of something. He is going to continue his turn. Oh. Um, no. He's going to make a fiery skull attack towards. Uh, Vaughn over there by the steps with a uh, 23 to hit. Uh, yeah, that definitely hits, and I think uh, I'm going to do yet another uncanny dodge. Yeah, you okay. Missed. You take 10 fire damage from this one. Ooh, it's a spicy. That's why I was like that. earlier, he yeah. rolled really low. Uh, and then he is going to make uh, another attack out towards Dresley with his whip. That is a 17 to hit. Do not believe that hits? 18? 18. Okay. And then on his horse's turn, who's going to make another hooves attack towards you, Dresley? For a 16? Man, my horse is agile. <laughs> It is going to move uh, back into the actually up into the air, uh, just um, probably about ten feet away from you, Sazed. Oh, what? Do Why? I get an opportunity? So he's thirty feet off the ground. Yes, you do get a opportunity attack. Do I also get one? Yes, you both do. Where At the, is against the uh, against the horse or the rider, your choice. Um... Mine's against the rider. Go ahead and make uh, a roll damage. Nine. Okay. That hits Dresley. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna do um, against the writer. Sorry, okay. I didn't. I didn't say that when you asked. I was thinking it, but I didn't. I don't think I said it. Okay, and use my last charge I have right now. For hindsight. I just found okay. a random Amazon package that I didn't know I had, and it was wild beyond the witchlight. If he continues moving, there we go. I don't know why it didn't. I have to look at this because this one is kind of, uh, this is kind of iffy because this isn't necessarily him making the movement. Yeah, targets yeah. not willingly moving, the horse is moving him. Technically, on that. Yeah, so it would just be the... Yeah, the just be the original 12. Thunder yes. And so. 7 Thunder. Okay, as uh, Raylan's claws scratch against his armor, tearing more chunks of it loose, and Dresley hits him with her mace, a loud thunderous boom echoes off the walls of the surrounding mansion. Uh, he flies there in the air just above the courtyard looking at those of you on the battlements and those below. Uh, Tam, it is your turn. Oh man, I cannot see shit, so I am gonna have to move out. Uh, I guess I could see the horse. Nope, that's Dresley's horse. Probably shouldn't shoot it then. Um, I have 50 feet, so I'm gonna fly out to right here. Shit, where was that? Yeah, there. Oh god, I still can't hardly see anything. Uh, well, I can see the horse. Yeah, he's Just there. I don't know what this beam or this color thing on him is. When you revived oh, him, it went on there. Yeah. Oh, you mean the purple dot? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, I can see them both now. All right, I don't have any more movement, so I'm going to... On the horse, I am going to cast my... No, I'm not, because I don't fucking have it. It's on cooldown. Um, I'm just going to cast two Eldritch Blast out on at him? First one. At the horse, then. Yeah. At the horse? Yeah, I, I guess okay. I assume it's gender, yes. Okay. Um, that hits. Roll damage. Blah. One of these days it's gonna crit. Not today, though. Uh, the second one also hits as these two beams strike into the side of the horse. It is, uh, starting to look hurt. Alright, uh, that is the end of that. And that'll end your turn? Yep. Okay, um, Nikolai, before your turn, um, let's see. He's going to move down towards, uh, Vaughn, right next to him. And he is going to swing out with his. Oh, wait. fuck! He's going to swing out with his whip. Oof! I'm gonna, I'm gonna start looking into rerolling a character soon. You and me. It's twenty-two to hit. Uh, can I get candy? Oh, wait, nope. did I already? You already used this round. Yeah. Yeah, you already used it. Oh yeah, that hits. That's uh, you take six slashing damage and fourteen fire damage. Ouchie. Yeah, it's literally the same roll as the last one. Yeah, Bobo just stopped rolling. He just picks the highest damage. And <laughs> you are Boy. totally wrong on that one. If it was the top damage, this dead. fight might have been over already. Yeah. Boy, it's getting awfully toasty here. Okay, Nikolai, you are up. Uh, I'm going to move as far as I can. I can dash while concentrating, right? Yes. Yeah, I just want to dash. Um, where to? As far as I can across the roof towards the rest of the peoples. Okay, that would put you, uh... I'll take roughly it. Roughly right there. Excellent. 
looking down from uh, above. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Uh, yes. I would like to. No, I don't. I. But it takes an action, right? To dash, What's that? Yeah. Dashing. Dash, yeah. Yeah. So no. Okay. Um, uh, Sacid, you were up. Did we skip Raylan? We skipped He's Raylan. Dead. Oh, because he deleted his token. Raylan, what the hell? I had to turn back into a human. Uh, What's your, uh, what 22. was your initiative? He has 212. Oh my god. 22? It was 22. Okay, Raylan, you are up then. Alright. So this son of a bitch. Lure him into the green. I would like to pull out my bow. I would like to use steady aim. Okay. And... Aren't you already invisible? I never know if I'm invisible or not, so... I wasn't planning on moving, so I just figured I'd automatically figure it out. <laughs> um, I'd like to pull out an acid light arrow. Oh. Okay. And I would like to shoot him with my bow. That did. I don't remember. <laughs> but it's the only magic arrow I have right now. I think it's acid damage, probably. Like 1d6. Sounds like or... it. It is 1d4 acid damage, and it has disadvantage on stealth checks while the ammunition is lit, which remains lit as long as it's in the creature. Yeah, anyway, here we go. Ooh, now he's gonna double okay. glow. Uh, you can roll with advantage if you steady aimed. Oh, that's right. I'll just roll one more time, because I forgot to click that. that was so okay, close. so 24. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was minus five. Oh, uh, minus oh, five for sharpshooter? Minus three. Minus three. Minus I forgot. three. I okay, because archery, too. Oh, yeah, I, forgot, I, forgot, I, forgot, I forgot to turn those back on. See, so, that is 21. Uh, plus a d4 of acid. Three. That is minus 27, then? Yeah, 27 total. No. Plus 11 is 28. Plus Wait, 3 is 31. 31. 31. What my math bad. Yeah, it's close enough. I was like, how are you taking numbers away? <laughs> Sorry, I, I did, is what happened. I subtracted. I see that now. Okay. Um... And then before he has a chance to recover, I will shoot him again with a regular arrow. Okay. That one also hit. 23. Ouch. How do I want to do this? Alright. I pull the arrow back. <laughs> as I release it, I say... No, I'm just kidding. Okay, as your uh, first you arrow... As your first arrow strikes into him, you see the... Uh, the acid light arrow uh, light up the flames with a greenish tint inside of them and then the second arrow follows in straight behind him and the flames seem to dull as you hear this loud thud from inside his armor where the arrow impacted and he is he is once again uh slumped over against Ooh, his down? horse he fell uh, off no he is time. still on his horse he is still on his horse right now he has not fallen off uh, but his flames do seem to be quite weak says it you are up he... oh god. Can I use my action to look at him? Like... I would like to observe and see what happens. And maybe try to get an idea of how he's coming back. I will get closer too if I can. Okay, um... Give me a perception check. Ah! With advantage, right? 
Natural one. <laughs> Can everyone see into the building? Mm. Uh, not really. Not no, from the edge here. More for the building. Because Dresley sees like everything for some reason. Not from the edge. Yeah, here. like, like my map just went like really bright all of a sudden, and like there's no. Oh no, I can't. There's I can no see him like, vision. like these windows. Can I pass? <laughs> can I passively watch him? <laughs> Um, can you passively watch him? What does that mean? <laughs> like... Higher perception rolled than a natural one. Oh, is that what you rolled as a natural one? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, you lean over <laughs> the, uh, the parapet, staring very seriously at him. Um, and intently. Anything else you want to do with your turn before no, that? A... Or before you end it? Okay, uh, he is going to reach out with his whip again before uh, your turn, Bon, and strike out towards you. Wait, did he get back up? Um, he has not fallen. Oh, I thought you said he. He was slumped over. over. Oh. Yeah, he slumped over on his horse. He's hurt really badly. Okay, I still wanted to watch anyway. That is a 16 to hit, Bon. Ooh. Oh, my Atlanta. I. It does not hit. Wow. Okay, as you nimbly dodge to the side, the whip strikes into the ground, sparking flames up into the air. It is uh, oh. your turn. You're never gonna get this. Oh, oh my God. No, I was after Sazed. Yeah, she was after me. Why? Are, why oh, too. I deleted her token because it wasn't working. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my God. I'm gonna taunt him. <laughs> For now. Just put you at 15 because it's below says that I don't remember exactly what it was. Uh, it is your turn, Dressley. Okay, I'm going to. Is he like on the ground now? Can I reach him? No, he is on his horse. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, he is, on, he is on the ground, yes. Okay, I'm going to run up to him, and as I'm running, I'm going to bonus action cast Divine Favor. Okay, can you link it for me? It's been a bit, sorry. That's on my spells page. It's been a bit. Oh, one, one. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to hit him twice. That's too okay, go ahead and uh, roll attacks. First one. Um, enmity would have uh, disappeared from when he dropped down to zero hit points. Really? So you wouldn't have advantage, yes. Because it does say he when died. he drops to zero hit points. He does not die. He, dro he did oh. not dro die. He dropped to zero hit points, yes. Uh -huh. Sorry, just so we can clarify that. Alright, so you're just going to go with the 11? Yes, uh, the 11, your first swing misses as he uh, slot, or moves to the side just a little bit, dodging the first swing. And the second one? The second one uh, also misses. He blocks it with his whip just in time. That's all I got. Okay. Um, let's see. That was one, two, three. Okay, he can't do... Okay, so, uh, Bond, you are up. Okay. Um, I just realized uh, the one thing I was going to do. Uh, I was going to kind of see that mask of mine. Does it? I know I have it on me. If I just... I doesn't take an action to activate it, does it? So I can go get my ass um, in I think it's like a bonus action or something to use it. I can't remember. I'll have to yeah. can see. It is. Oh, it's over here. Um, you can expend one of its charges when you take the hide action to become invisible. So you take the hide, like bonus action, bonus action hide, 
and then you oh. become invisible by using one of its charges. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, okay. I'm not going to do that quite yet. Um, because he's right up in my face. Unless I checked, right? Yep, there I am. Yes, he is right there. He's right there. Uh, I am just going to... Yeah, might as well just... Steady aim. That sharpshooter. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... Give him the old, uh... Wound stabby stabby. Okay. So you're just gonna reach out with your psychic dagger up towards him to stab him? It, well, oh, sorry. I let me rephrase that. I'm gonna try to stab the horse because that's okay. a lot closer to stab. Right in the stupid okay. freaking horse face. <laughs> okay. Um, did you steady aim then? Because you're not moving, or no, no, no. Okay. Somebody... So then it would be a 13 to hit, which the horse narrowly dodges to the side. Oh. I thought I'd get advantage because of my teammate. That's no, that's just you. That... Yeah. Oh, balls. Well, all right. Now I'm going to use my uh, bonus action to hide and uh, put on my mask. Or act oh, okay. So you're going to act. You're going to bonus action hide and go invisible. Correct. Okay. Are you going to move or anything, or just stay there? Oh, I'm going to try to move over here. Okay. Give me a stealth check. Big money, no whammies. Nice. With advantage. Sneaky man. boy. Are you just moving around him, or Pretty... are you moving away from him? I'm going to... Shit, I might as well... I could... I mean, I could try to go away... No, I'm just going to move, like... Almost, like... Like, almost behind him, yeah. Just show me exactly where, okay, so go. I know. Do do do, do do do. Like I can see he's okay. at the foot of the stairs, so I'm gonna go up the stairs and kind of around. Yep. Okay. As uh, as you move past him, just out of his range, you hear this hiss from inside the armor. It sounds very weak, uh, but it vengeful, and it shout or and it says, "I see you," and his whip launches out towards you. At with disadvantage, because he can't see him? He <laughs> just said 23 to hit. He said he could see me. Oh, yeah. Oh. You take okay. uh, 8 slashing oh, and, and uh, 12 fire. Oh. <laughs> okay. Does, does that end your turn? Yeah, that, that ends my turn. As you guys hear, uh, uh, invisible, just, uh, ah! <laughs> I think he can see um, invisibility. What is that? On his turn, he is going yeah, to he's make an He's going to make an attack out towards Dresley with his whip. That is a... 12 to hit as it slams against your uh, shield battered off to the side um, and he is going to take his other hand tossing a fiery skull up towards Tem for an oh, 18 no. to hit oh that hits uh, you take 14 fire damage hellish rebuke okay um, dex save are, 16 wait are, how far away is that 60 feet Okay, 60 feet. Yeah, that'll reach him. Go ahead and roll uh, damage for that. <coughs> Boom! Oh my god. Okay, um, he rolled a 10. So as uh, this flame connects into you, and you release oh. flames of your own out towards him, um, he is engulfed in the flames, and you watch as they take over his armor and it flies off of the horse onto the ground. As that same flame starts to snuff out from the uh, the armor, you watch as the horse also starts to buck wildly. 
and then its own flame fizzles out and it falls to a pile of ash next to the armor. Shit, we wanted that. Oh, shit. And it oh seems to remain there completely still. And we are going to take a break. Yay. Okay, so we're back. Um, after this uh, lifeless suit of armor falls to the ground, his mount, a pile of ashes next to him. <coughs> what would everyone like to do? Uh, so combat has ended. Does seem so, yes. No longer in initiative order. Well, I guess I should unactivate my mask and go, I need some healing, please. Nikolai, do you have that uh, rope thing? The rope thing? Were you the one that had that thing that turns into rope? Uh, I do. I have a rope. To tie us off a rope so we can climb up and down? Uh, sure. I think I also have rope. I have 50 feet of rope that I will give to you. I don't know how to use rope. I thought <laughs> it would be useful. Everybody always needs rope. You always need rope. You don't know how to tie a knot and then, knot and then throw it over the side of the building? I mean, I had rope too, but I thought you had I some can fly. cool magical thing. He has it, 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 only lasts, it only lasts... Yeah, I already... I said I have it, but it only lasts oh. for a limited duration. How long is that? Uh, um, one hour. That's more than enough. Do you weigh less than 120 pounds? This hurts, Paul? Wait, no? Alright, well, then... Do you? Here. No, but if we use this, it, we will die, because it's only weight, it only holds 120 pounds. That's this awful rope. I mean, if we needed to hoist backpacks up here or something, I don't. How many of these did I have? I don't remember how many of these t th these tappies I had. I do not specifically remember. Taffy. That was like session one, four, or something. Like five or something. Yeah, I want to say it was like five or something like that. God, how much homework was I supposed to do? <laughs> um, Review all sessions. I, Tam, we'll use that rope then. Taffy, but I don't remember how many pieces I got. I think it was five. We can call it five. Five sounds right. like a solid number. Well, yeah, if we weave the taffies together, the weight increases with each taffy. So it'd be 120, then 240. Oh, you can save it. I thought it was a... I just have regular... Thing. We just have regular rope. Yeah, we can get this back rope. out when we're done. I you want me to just tie it up to the ballista? No, no, there's a there's parapets here we can just tie it off to. We don't need to use the ballista. That's well, yeah, not specifically. Why don't we just, to don't the we ballista, just look but... for a roof entrance and go down? I guess I'm stuck like one. this, so I can go up and down as much Do as I we need to. Do I see any doors? Or there's got to be a door to go down somewhere up here. I tie my um, rope on the parapet and go down. Okay, says it starts to tie his rope on the parapet and make his way down the. Uh, rope. I untie uh, the rope. Tresley, as you uh, approach the uh, as you approach the suit of armor on the ground, it appears to be a very uh, rusty and old set of uh, full plate armor. Um, all that remains of the whip seems to be some kind of handle, and uh, attached to the boots are these very. Uh, contrasting in appearance looking spurs that seem to be attached to the boots in some way Ooh, um, they don't match the boots in their appearance um, they're very dark metal um, and they they don't appear to have been aged by time either Can Raylan run off into the woods and look for something to eat and heal himself? Give me a survival check as you run off to hunt. What were you going to say, Dresley? Can I pick up the handle of the whip and... look over it? 
Your mic is up. That's why you're quiet. No. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, it uh looks like a metal sword pommel kind of. Um. Looks like there are scorch marks around the end where the flames were coming out from before. Those things usually have a code word. Try flame on. Uh, Raylan, you managed to snatch up a, a couple small rabbits that were hiding in a hole not far away. Oh my god! Can I use all three of my werewolf bites on them? Um, yes, you may. You may eat the rabbits for your healing. Ooh, miss. <laughs> Sharpshooter with his teeth. <laughs> I'm just looking at the piercing damage. So that's... 15 points of damage. Oh man, looks like you miss with only 10. Nine plus fifteen is twenty-four. Okay, I will stay out in the woods and continue hunting, and keeping an eye and make sure nothing is coming towards ruins of alabaster. Okay, um, Nikolai, looking around on the rooftop, the southern side of it is um, completely dilapidated and collapsed. Um, it looks as if. Uh, most of the structure is probably collapsed from what you can tell from your vantage point over there. Um, there also appears to be a hole leading directly to the floor beneath you. Um, it's kind of hard to see what's in there because it's pretty dark. Um, aside from that, you don't you see two uh, towers across the extremely debris strewn. Um, you know what? Hold on. We're going to do this. Get to see the fourth floor. Thought I did something to my window and I can't see anything. Alright, I fixed it. Just show me the roof. Oh my god, this place looks horrible. That's where you were earlier. This is where you were at. Uh, that's where Sace had climbed down. Then this is where all of the debris is. Okay. Um, anywhere else you'd like to go? Would you like to check the rest of the roof? or? Uh, I'm going to light a torch and then look down in the hole. Okay, give me a uh, perception check as you look down into the hole. I'm trying. Try harder. Okay. I'm trying, uh, trying to find it. Directly below you appears to be just a uh, a large amount of the roof um, where it has caved in and fallen beneath. Uh, it does not necessarily look like it's um, safe to jump down onto because there are several... Um, different pieces of wood and stone jutting in different directions. Oh. But it is only 10 feet down, so it's... What about over here? Um, crossing around to the other side, uh, you Ooh, see that there is uh, another ballista there and uh, a door on this tower and uh, another tower further to the east. What about right here? What is this? Is this a window? That is a door. I would like to see if it's open. And by open, I mean unlocked. And openable. Okay. Uh, as you approach it, uh, this door does appear to open with ease. I will open it and look inside. Okay. Uh, yes, Sazed would have made it down there by now. I would like to use my... Med... Oh. Wait, me? Sorry. 
Use my med kit yep. to heal bomb up a little bit. I used Thank I didn't use it on bomb last time, right? It was just Dresley and someone else. Um. Um, I was actually gonna ask her, like, since we're looking around and doing fun stuff. Uh, I'll go back to the other side and uh, yell at Tim to come pick me up. Okay. <laughs> what were we so saying, Bob? Right. I was gonna say, is there a chance that, like, other than, well, I'll see about that health kit, but, like, start rolling some hit dice. I don't know. That usually it's, like, short rest. That would though, be a but... short rest, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that would be if you're taking a short rest. If uh, if you're planning to try and take a short rest uh, after an hour passes, if you've been able to, then you can roll the hit dice. Okay. But for now... In the meantime... Nine plus your hit dice. Nine which plus... is eight so 17 hit points wait fantastic thank you very much okay um tim you hear nikolai uh coming back across the roof yell for you to uh Come pick him up. Um, I will go get it. Uh, Sazed, as actually, as you first reach the uh, the landing there, uh, coming off of your rope, you see across from the courtyard the statue. Its mouth, its lower jaw drops open, and you hear this. Uh, whirring within the statue as this blast of cold air comes out and washes over uh, you, Dresley, and Bon. What? Why? It is a very, oh it is a very cool breeze, oh. but uh, it doesn't hurt. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, give me an arcana check. <clears throat> Yes, you. That dies because it. Ooh, nineteen. Okay. Uh, you you recognize this to have been some sort of magical trap that maybe doesn't work properly anymore. I look under my feet. Did I step on something? Um. Or you do is not it just see anything there. Maybe? Uh, you could reason. You don't see anything that looks different from the platform that you're standing on than anything around it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the the uh, statue's lower jaw then closes. Well, that could have been really bad, but here's these traps are very, very old. Oh, so like decrepit old? Like you don't have to worry about them? Or that one was just, we just got lucky and that one was a dud. We definitely just got lucky on that. One for the other. Sweet. I uh, healed on then, right after. I assume I haven't okay. done that yet. <laughs> yes, that would have been after. Um, Tem, are you I'm bringing sure. Nikolai down? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you bring Nikolai down to the rest of the group. Uh, Dresley. Um, had said she was going to head off to the tower earlier. She typed it out, so I don't know if everyone saw it. Yeah, I did. I go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look at the what the armor and the hilt while I wait, and the spurs unless okay. she picked out any of them up. No. no I'm good. Bon, we might as well take a rest too. Yeah, I, I mean that uh, helped me a little bit, but uh, I need a, a couple minutes here to uh, fix my uh, fix myself up here a little bit. Yeah, let them look over stuff. We'll rest here for a bit. The whip is sharp. <laughs> Not anymore. Bernie. Okay, uh, Drizzly, as you head off over towards where you had seen that uh, blue light um, as you start to approach the tower 
you see uh, several of them seem to be floating within the ruin area of the tower, these blue orbs of light that are just kind of circling around about 20 feet off the ground. Right here where I was? Uh, yes, they are in here, just circling around. I'll stop about right here. Okay, about right here. Yeah, do they? Is it doing anything as I get closer? Or? Uh, they seem to continue to circle around. Uh, maybe even a little bit higher up in the air. Uh, you notice that there are a few more of them. Uh, just, oh, that's not my arrow. Just, uh, just in this room over here, you see a couple more seem to be flying uh, another 20 or 30 feet off the ground as well. Can I cast Divine Sense? Do I sense anything like around this area? Uh, can you link Divine Sense for me, please? Um, if I can find it. It's somewhere. We'll find it. Divine Science. Yeah. Enough Divine Spells for... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, uh, these sense, uh, you you open up your uh, senses outward and you feel, uh, you feel the presence of, uh, of an undead spirit, um, Sorry, I had to cough, but it wouldn't come out. <laughs> uh, you you sense these uh, to be undead uh, spirits, um, some kind of um, potentially malevolent force. You get this uh, very noxious odor <laughs> off of them. According to the spell, I don't know how to. Are they still hanging around? That's kind of weird. Yeah, what kind of ghost stays in one spot? Yeah. Alright, so I'm probably going to figure that they didn't like that I went inside earlier. Um... Uh, I guess I'm gonna pick up like a rock or something because Isaac had said they're like they were warriors of light and I'm gonna guess that they're like just spirits of people that were here. So I'm gonna like pick up a rock and cast light on it and set it back down. Okay. Um, you pick up a a small rock and it starts to glow as you channel your energy into it to cast light upon it. Um, what are you doing with the rock? Just setting it down? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you set the rock down, the uh, small blue orbs continue to move in a uh, seemingly on rhythmic pattern. Uh, just circling around each other in the tower and in the other room. 
But they don't seem to get, like, overly aggressive or anything. Doesn't seem to be any kind of reaction from them. I'll go back to the stairs, and I'll let them know that there are spirits over there. Spirits! Are they friendly? Like, they're just chilling in there? Well, I, I went in there earlier, and I saw just one in another room that was kind of, like, broken. And then when I went back over there, there was, like, a bunch of them where I was at. It's kind of weird. Hmm. You're like, put them to sleep, put them back, let them go wherever they need to go? Wait, spirit? Why are spirits floating around out here? Aren't they supposed to re-inhabit the bodies of the people that live here? Unless they stayed spirits. Unless they stay spirits. Um, as you were talking over here by the staircase, uh, Raylan, you can see from the woods these uh, blue orbs seem to uh, apparate through the outside of the walls, just passing through them uh, as if they don't have a corporeal form. Um, and they continue to swirl around in the air uh, right here, just uh, probably about 20 feet in the air above where the rock uh, that Dresley had lit was. Have I gotten right, the identify I, off yet? Can I approach the uh, the lights? Okay. Um, like Caroline. Where would you like to approach them? Um, identify would almost be done. I wow, he hunted walk. and came back in less than 10 minutes? Holy shit. I want to go about right Good here. For him. I think you cast it identify a little after he'd went off to hunt, but eh, barely. Well, you had to climb down a rope, and then there was the whole trap and everything. That all probably took place in six to ten seconds. Six to ten seconds to get down oh, forty feet uh, of rope. I dashed literally. down the rope. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, then give me a give me an acrobatics oh. check if you, that's what you did down the rope. Come on. Natural 19 plus whatever. <laughs> Take <Natural> that. <laughs> My character um, sheet's not loading. As you as you finish uh, casting identify upon this uh, um, hilt, this handle, uh, you sense no magical qualities about it. You say I was going to start with the spurs because they look magical. Oh, you're starting with the spurs. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, you do sense a uh, magical quality about them, and I will be able to give you that page whenever I find it. <laughs> I have somehow lost it. I don't know how. I'm going to ask Nikolai to detect magic on the other two while I did that, since he was back, but he might not have been back in time. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's back. Oh, Nick Nikolai the player? Yeah, because he was searching around up there. Oh, yeah, he's he's down there now. See if these are magical while I examine this. I will magically cast magical magicalness and see if they're <laughs> magical. That is a great spell that I've never heard of. <laughs> um, you surprisingly do not sense a uh, any magical aura from the armor or the hilt, the handle. That saves me 20 minutes. I'm just, I'm just uh, John, can I throw waiting on the for ground? that hour timer to go up. Wait, don't, no, it's still, I mean, it's, it's still plate armor. It's still strong, expensive armor. Even if we don't use it, we can sell that for a good thing. It, it is, is it horribly rusted. It is horribly rusted. We should throw it out. Well, <laughs> actually, Maybe we could keep it. Throw in the river. Maybe we could take it to Awaja as proof that we 
build the headless one. That is a great idea. Oh yeah, keep a couple pieces, and we can take like one to. I don't know who all said that, who else was talking about it. Isaac, we can take one to Isaac, and you know, so he knows that we're, you know, out here taking care of business. I feel like Isaac would believe us, and we just need to prove. I, I'm almost positive at this point we can call ourselves Mistborn, the killer of n nightmares. How many freaking crazy monsters have we taken out? Like two. Change our team name to the Demisters. I think Isaac would believe us, actually. I mean, we've done quite a bit for him. I don't see no reason why he wouldn't believe us. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Now, these spurs, on the other hand, holy shit. Yeah, right? They are. They are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. Tell us about them in your own words. They are spurs that when you attach them to your boots, it will activate the magic. Go on. And Go on. And then... And then you get to do some pretty amazing things. Uh, give me yeah. one example. That when you click your heels while they are on, they... Okay, Dorothy. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't gotten the item yet. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'll tell you about them in a minute. A flame, if it gives me a flaming horse, I call dibs. I feel like uh, Dorothy would have explained it faster. So you click your heels and you jump and the magical horse appears under you? No, that's just stupid. So why would uh, you say, why would you think that? That's uh, because it would be funny. <laughs> that play was awful. It made no sense. How does a house get... Picked up in a tornado with one oh, No, I'm not talking about a house. I'm talking about a horse. I click know, your the heels. Whole, the whole click play your heels, in general. Jump. And then the horse just magically appears underneath you. Oh. I just think it would be for just the imagery of somebody clicking their heels, jumping as high as they can into the air, and a horse appearing under them. That just seems like really funny. It just seems like something. I don't know why. That might be what they do. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. <laughs> I will laugh every time. Whoever wants to use that, I will laugh every time they use it. <laughs> <laughs> Click and jump. Click and jump. Click and jump. <laughs> it's like the what? It's like what we do in the shadows as he like transforms into, or he's about to transform into a bat. Just yells out, "Bat!" So you can yell out, <laughs> "Horse!" <laughs> that show is so funny. It's awesome, isn't it? Oh my god, yes, it is awesome. Have you okay, seen the I movie? found it. There you are. Yes! Favorite. I have seen the movie, and yes, it is... ...fucking hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on, what is it? What is it? So, as I was saying, as you click the spurs together... ...it summons a nightmare. But it has to be in blood. And it has to be in blood? No. No, or. Oh, it's or, or scraping them through blood. Yeah, so scraping as you click them together, like we said, you summon a nightmare. But it comes six seconds later for some reason. Is it an evil period. nightmare? Uh, yeah, what kind of nightmare? It acts, it acts as your ally. Probably clowns. And does things with you on your turn, or when you do stuff. Ooh, it's but it's not gonna go like psycho and it lasts for a murder. full day. If it's not a flame if it's not a flaming horse, I'm not interested. And then that's it will return to the nine hills. Oh, oh that's oh, so it's evil. That's pretty dope. <laughs> but that's clearly a Raylan weapon to go with his ghost friend. He's your friend for a little bit. Uh Raylan, as they are uh gushing over these spurs up there, uh you and you have approached them. And you have approached uh, these orbs that are spinning in the air. Um, you see more of them have started to cluster around probably about uh, eight now um, inside the tower and above the stone. They seem to be circling around continuously. As someone who talks to ghosts, can I approach them? I can't Can I talk in werewolf form? Yes, you can speak common in werewolf form. 
There's so many abilities. Do, Can't even find. Do you have like actual ghost speech? Is that a thing? Like no. Okay, I I get what you're saying. Still. No, but yeah, I just uh. Can I ask Eleanor if she knows what those are? Are they your friends? Um. <laughs> What, just because I'm uh, every other ghost? Well, that's racist. <laughs> you see her uh, apparate next to you, and she says, uh, those are lost spirits. They're confused and angry. And they're hovering around the light that Dresley lit up? They're hovering around the light and just around the tower. Can I go pick up the rock? Okay. You walk uh, underneath them and uh, grab one, grab the rock that is glowing. They don't seem to react or respond in any way. Okay, I'll just sit there and watch him for a little bit. Okay, what's everyone else doing? Uh, put the spurs in my pack more. and go look at the ghosts. Okay. Um, since I cast detect magic earlier for these items, do I sense any magic? Um, yes, uh, you sense a uh, a faint and very weak uh, aura of evocation magic from the statue as well as a similar link to the platform on the stairs um, it's very faint and very weak um, seeming as if uh, maybe something has affected it or passage of time is potentially weak in the spell a link uh, like a trap yes oh good thing it was weekend uh -huh. We all said the same thing. Where were the ghosts, okay. Fizzly? As it starts walking over towards... They're hovering about 20 feet above Raylan. Where's Raylan? I'd like not... to go into the... Yeah, is he really? My detect magic. No. Oh my god, he is. I did zoom all the way in and I can still barely see him. Uh, I cast dancing lights. <laughs> okay. Um, you can drag out your little lights then. Where are they? Oh, they're way down Under there now. Effects. Yeah, holy shit. Um, yeah, I don't know how long we've been hanging out, but whenever that hour mark hits, I would like to start rolling. 10 15 minutes. I'll be eyes. right with you in a second, too. But uh, for now, I would like to use. Universal speech. Okay. It does say intelligible to any creature. Gotcha. And I would like to communicate with the ghost if I can and say, hello, spirits. Uh, how are you? Is everything okay? <laughs> Okay, uh, you see them continue to move um, almost as if they aren't reacting at all uh, around. Um, some some of them pass through your dancing lights as they swirl around, but uh, they don't seem to be changing their patterns. It's just kind of random looking. Up to uh, I can do it to up to five of them. Okay. So uh, is there anything that we can do to help you? Do you need assistance? Can I do something to make your passage easier? Uh, you see as you continue to talk that uh, the other ones who, that were in the tower from here start to move out, as well as the other ones start to move out above you. And uh, they're circling around you above probably 10 feet, 20 feet in the air, and uh, above Raylan, 10 or 20 feet in the air. Um, 
You guys are playful. I like that. Um, how long does this last? One hour. Wow. So, is that a no? Bob up and down if you want our help. Um. Uh, you see the ones who were uh, the four that were closest above you uh, start to come down a little bit, and then one of them uh, gets closer, uh, almost within range for you to touch. Uh, the other ones also start to descend around Raylan, uh, about 10 feet off the ground. Uh, the one that is closest to you, uh, you see this spark come out from it towards you. Ah, oh, Will-O-Wisp! Fuck! That is a 19 to hit, and you Ow. take uh, we can see 11... That, I see that. 11 lightning damage. They're mean! Owie. Did something bad happen? I had to walk away for a second, but I can yeah. hear Cargo screaming. I got Somebody zapped! Just... Somebody just died. Yeah, I'm staying oh. away from those guys. Awkward. Alright, well, nice knowing you. Do I get to retaliate? Um, everyone can roll for initiative. Damn. Just when I was hoping to get my damn, uh... Hit I mean, dice yeah, you can rolling. continue to Wait, sit don't there. Roll yet. Oh my Shit. god, I already rolled! It's a 15! I'll put it back on there. I did see two of myself, finally. I'll do it. What? What? Don't change it. There we go. There's so many of them, and I go before all of them. Oh my god, there's so many of them! And you go before all of them. It's a good thing I'm uh, immune to lightning damage. Well, let's hope you're immune to thunder damage too. Did I... Nope, did not go. Hey, there you go, Bob. You can just sit there and chill. Okay. Are nah, we, uh... I'll throw some knives at him and hope for the best. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen, right? We all on here now? I think so. One, two. Oh. Three, four, five, six. Uh, yep. Bon and Tim. Who's got the higher decks? Probably Bon, right? Bon, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Okay, uh... Bon, you are up first. This is uh, not very epic music. This is not very epic music. Um, go ahead. Am I hidden of any kind? You know what? Fuck it. I'll just uh, um, I'm just gonna, I'll hit it with steady aim. It's okay. It's gonna okay. go steady aim and uh, the first whisk. That guy's gonna move up close. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with uh the old uh one two, uh. You're making some brownies. Oh, one. Shadow knife. What's that? You're making some brownies. Call them a whisk. Oh. Eh. Okay, you are, hitting, you are throwing your knife at him? I'm gonna try to. Okay, that, uh... 15... Does not hit him. Ooh. He narrowly dodges out of the way of your attack. Vassal. Bad guys. They are moving very quickly. Uh oh. I think I fucked up. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. Steady the aim and didn't steady aimed enough. Okay. Uh, wasn't very helpful. I'm in danger. Second attack or no? no that was his can, bonus. You no. can't because that's no. his bonus action. That's yep. right. Uh, okay, right. Tim. You are up. Nikolai, you're right. next. Let's see. God, everything's so far away in this map. Um, 
I'm just gonna fly down here a little bit, and then I'm just gonna start blasting. <laughs> so I start okay. blasting. I'm gonna smack this first one right here, whatever's closest one to me, this one right here, with a Eldritch Blast. Okay. Oh my god, that's not Oh good. my god, that's not- No! Oh, thank god. Wait. Um. Yeah, that's good for me. As your blast uh, peels off through the air, it uh, strikes into the side of the uh, rampart, knocking loose some stone that falls down towards Sazed. Oh, what? Oh, man. It's in, your, it's in the direction, man. Damn. You take eight bludgeoning damage. Oh, my Actually, God. Actually, you know what? First, oh give me a dexterity saving throw. Thank so you, you can at see least. if you can take half or not. Yes, let me do that. That'd be fair. No. Two? Okay, you take eight bludgeoning damage <laughs> as the rocks fall down on you. Someone's more damage than my spell does. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> Damn those rocks. Why couldn't it have nicked Oseas and he kicked him back with his heels? <laughs> oh yeah, that would have been nice, right? <laughs> Before I fire my next shot, I'm gonna fly down this way. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got a better shot at me. Uh, I'm gonna fire another one. Boom. A 13 misses, unfortunately. Uh, that is all I have. Uh, Nikolai or Sazed, what's your uh, dex? One! Uh, well. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Ten? I think. Thirteen? Okay, say it. Twelve. Wait, what is it? Thirteen or twelve? <laughs> uh, thirteen. Okay, then you would go before. Okay, so you were up, say it, you're next. I will... throw a fireball at the nearest dude. Okay. Uh, that hits. Roll damage. Of course it hits. Oh, fire bolt. <laughs> yeah, he said fire bolt. Like said fire okay. ball. <laughs> uh, you see the flames uh, wash over the small form of this uh, ball of light, and uh, it seems mostly unaffected by it, but it does seem to have hurt it somewhat. I will take a mental note of that. Uh, anything else for your turn? You want to move or bonus action? No, I'm good. Okay. So you did. You are up. Which is the one that hit me? Um, that would be this one right here. Oh. Wait. The, uh, that one? Yes. Damn it. Well, I'm just going to check out a little slab of stone from my pocket and I will cast shatter at third level right here catching all of these people okay what is that constitution mm, yep so says is making his move get it yep yeah you'll be fine I knew we were gonna fight to the death at some point constitution saving throw yep Oh, I'm good. Oh, yeah, you're good. You take okay, that. uh, roll damage on that. That is 3d8 plus 1d. Fifteen. Oh, wait, that was three. Shit. Eighteen. Thunder 18. damage. Thunder damage, okay. Oh, that's why you said thunder damage. Gotcha. I'm actually weak against thunder da or thunder damage because of the good hearing. <laughs> okay, is this a uh, sound wave of uh? force shakes through the area, scattering most of the debris nearby and uh, showering the area around you with more rocks and uh, rubble. 
the orbs falter from the sound, seeming to have been hit by the full effect of it, but not fully yeah. impacted by it at the same time. What? Like, they didn't seem to be fully damaged. There you go. Like thunder and lightning? That's bullshit. Thunder and fire. I hate these things. Um, anything else for your turn? Um... That one's ten feet away, right? Um, it is up in the air as well. Oh, is that the only one uh, near yes. me? The one that's that was... at me? Yes, the one that's after you is the only one right next oh, to you. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm running away. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you rush past it, uh, zaps out another bolt towards it. you. Yes, it is a seven as it strikes yeah! the ground next to you. Um, bonus action. I'm good. That's it. Okay. Uh, this one is going to fly down next to Raylan, and it is going to take a shock at him. With immune to lightning damage. That is a 13 to hit. The yes, bolt uh, flies off stray from you. That's there. Oh, hey, look. This one is going to fly after says it. Ah! <laughs> Is going to shock out it towards him for a 22 to hit. Oh, hit. Jesus. That is uh, another 11 lightning damage. Oh my god, ow. It's almost as much damage as my friend did to me. Well, ally. I think I moved the wrong one there. Hold on. I, I did, because it didn't. I forgive you. That one hit you instead. I dodged that one. Nope. This one is going to move in towards, uh, oh, towards Dresley, and it is going to take a shock out towards her. That is a 15 to hit as the bolt misses uh, her and Oseus. Uh, this other one's going to move in and shock towards your horse, Stresley. What an asshole. That is a 16 to hit. Alright, that hits. That is 6 Ten. lightning damage. I gotta find him, sheep. <laughs> <laughs> This next one is going to move over here uh, towards Tem, um, and it is going to shock out towards him. God, they're so fast. That is a natural 20. Ooh, um, yeah, take that. Oh my god. You take... Uh, I think you might meet him soon. Doing math. 21 lightning damage. Ooh. What? No. <laughs> no. I refuse. <laughs> Raylan, you're up. So there's only one that's right next to me, right? Uh, yes, there's only one that's right next to you. Alright. The don't other ones it. are up in the air. Don't eat it, they're bad. I would like to run... 20 feet... this way. Jump okay. up, jump up in the air, another 10, er... and dive 10 feet, but turning back, and launching three quick arrows. Okay, at any specific target, or just... <laughs> the one that tried to shock me. Okay. Um, as you rush away, it is going to attempt to shock you again. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. That shocks me. You take 5 lightning damage. Actually, before I do anything, let me... Uh... And he's out. Never mind. Changing my mind. I don't move. Oh my goodness, look at all this retconning he just did in a single <laughs> turn. Okay, but you don't move. What do you do? I try to bite it. Okay, roll an attack. Minus Sharpshooter. Okay. That does... that does hit. Roll damage. Okay, it takes three piercing damage. 
It seems as if uh, your teeth make full contact with this creature. And then I do a werewolf slash. Okay, go ahead and... Uh... 12 does not hit it. Nimbly dodges out of the way. And it's my turn. Okay. This one's just going to fly down next to you in shock, too. That is a 11 to hit. That one misses. As the bolt strikes next to you. Dresley, you are up. Alright, this is the one that hit Oseos? Yes. Okay. How dare you hit my horse? Um, I'm going to bonus action recast Divine Favor. Oh, do they have little okay. skulls? Aww, okay. they're so cute! That's the 1d4 radiant damage on attack, right? Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, and I'll just take two attacks at this one. Okay. Go ahead and roll attacks. That hits. Roll damage. Make sure I have divine. Okay. And the second one. It uh, dodges from your second attack. Uh, the first one seeming to hit it quite hard though as the uh, radiant damage takes hold in it um anything else you'd like to um... no that'll be all it's no movement or anything so that's bonus action attack okay Um, this guy is going to... It is going to move as quick as it can straight over there towards the steps. Uh, right next to Bon. Oh, this other one boy. is going to do... The same, but next to Nikolai, and it doesn't have to dash. Oh so God, it is going to try back. to shock him. Shock who? Me? Nikolai. Nikolai. Uh, that is a 13 to hit, Nikolai. It's this small bolt of lightning shoots out of the orb. Fucking asshole. Does it hit? Uh... Nope. <laughs> okay. As, you're, as you raise up this uh, shield, it blocks the bolt. That ends All right, its I can't remember Hunt, if this uh, did other things besides physical attacks. Completely in the gates, magic missile. True. I... Is that there it is? I am going to just uh, try to stab this one. Okay. Uh. Because, why not? There it goes. Are you using steady aim beforehand, or...? Nope, nope, I wasn't going to, because, okay. uh... My par I got a partner in crime rate. Oh wait, I wouldn't get advantage, fuck. Okay. I don't yeah, you wouldn't get advantage. You only get advantage if you use steady aim, or if you're, uh, not... Or if the creature's not aware of where exactly you are. Oh, fuck. That's right. Um... Just so used to using steady aim. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so a 13 will yeah. not hit. So as you manifest this dagger of psychic energy in your hand and take a swipe out, it dodges off to the side. Ugh, crap. I am going to use my uh, bonus action to try to hide. To try to hide? Yes, to like hop over, like, I don't know, hop this way and just hide. 
Okay. Uh, give me a stealth check as you jump over this uh, stone railing. Sneaky man. Okay. Uh, Activated. A, <laughs> the wisp next to you takes a shock out towards you, striking the steps uh, just behind your feet with a 12 to hit Where as you jump over and disappear into the bushes. I am, a, I am one. With uh, Tem, you are up. Nikolai, you're next. Is he muted again? Yep. Oh my god, dude, what is happening? Um, okay, so let me pull out my glaive and just start smacking these guys. Uh, starting with the one that hit me. Okay. Boom! A 16 does not hit. Ooh, it uh, narrowly dodges away from you. How narrowly? Jesus Christ. Um, right. Actually, not that narrowly, to be honest. They are very oh, dexterous. Oh my god, that's even worse. Uh, Alright, well, one more. Boom! Uh, <laughs> the second swing flies just underneath the creature as it dances right. around your glaive's strikes. Polar Master attack. Boom! Oh, okay, go. that does hit. Alright. Manages to strike into the center of this orb. Not great. Two damage on your whole yeah. turn is not bad. I mean, it's, you know, it could be better. <laughs> Anything else for your turn? That's all. Okay, Nikolai, you are up. Say it you're next. I know it's not super effective, but I'm going to fireball. Okay. Nice. <laughs> How many are there? Six? Yes. Click that. I love that you basically just throw a bomb off on your feet. And okay, as you uh, as you manifest this ball of flame, uh, exploding it just uh, ten feet from you, um, and sculpting it around your allies nearby, uh, you see. Most of the orbs quickly dodging through the flames. One of them, not uh, quick enough, is caught up in the flames and uh, disappears, burned away from the flames. They all seem to have been hurt by it, um, but uh, most of them appeared to have avoided the brunt of the force. This one looking to be the dimmest of the group currently. Nice. Anything else for your turn? No. Okay, say it. You are up. Action! Disengage! Okay, and move there. Yeah. Behind the statue, as far as I can get. How far do you have for movement? 35? Here. 30. Oh, 30? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can get there. Bonus action! Damn wisps! And as I say wisp, I will heal myself with healing word. Okay. Last spell. Eight points of healing. Okay, as you and recover eight points turn. of health. Uh, this wisp next to Raylan is going to make a shock out towards him. That is a 20 to hit. And that hits. You take uh, 12 lightning damage. Yep. Okay. 
And that ends its turn. Uh, this one up here. This was the one pursuing Sazed. It is going to continue to pursue Sazed. Running past uh, Dresley and uh, Temp. You have the option to make opportunity attacks if you would like. He's just trying to bait out your reactions. Don't do it. Okay. Um, Dresley's swipe misses and Tem catches it. Go ahead and uh, roll damage. Okay. As it as you as it passes by you, Tem, you sweep out your glaive, cutting through the orb, and it uh, disappears with a scream of pain uh, and dims out. It's going to be this one that was attacking Dresley next. It is going to shock towards her. That is a 23 to hit. You take uh, 8 lightning damage. Okay. And the one that was harassing your horse is going to continue to harass your horse. That is a 7 to hit as it shocks the ground next to its hooves. And the one on Tem is going to shock him as well for a 17 to hit. He's is muted. It? Yeah. Okay, that is five lightning damage. What the fuck is that shit? Ow. <laughs> Raylan, you were up. Shit, I got a crit last time. Yeah, yeah he took like 20 he's... something lightning damage yeah, earlier. I've taken somewhere. Uh... All right. Um, since I rolled a 1 last time, I'm going to continue my bloodlust, and I will take two werewolf slashes at this one. Okay. The first one does not hit. <laughs> In a blind fury, I'll do it again. Uh, the second one also is you're blinded by your rage, unable to hit this uh, very fast-moving orb of light nearby. Anything else for your turn? No. Okay. Um, this one is going to make another shock out towards you. That is an 11 to hit. Yes. This guy is so fucking inaccurate. <laughs> Sorry. He was a stormtrooper. Uh, he just hasn't he hasn't hit a single attack. That's all. It's just really. Oh fuck you, roll twenty. Okay, yeah. Dresley, you were up. He's the stormtrooper of uh, wisps. All right, I want to move like right here, kind of like reposition on the other side of him. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah, that's possible. Um, as you move around, the uh, one is going to take a shock at you. Hold on. Or maybe... Yeah, you. It might have been Osaeus, but that's an 8 to hit, so it hits nothing either way. Raylan would probably be better off hitting if uh, he didn't have dancing lights above him. They also give off their own light, so... Of the concentration, he's taken how much damage? Fair enough. Oh yeah, have you been rolling your concentration checks? I don't think Sazed's so. here. Oh, me? Dresley. Yeah, yeah, for dancing lights, or is it just oh. down? Uh, you know what, I, since I haven't rolled, no, yeah, they're down. Okay, Dresley, uh, what, would, what else would you like to do? Oh yeah. Well, I w no, they I wanna, went up. <laughs> I want to position right here. Right here? Or Osea's up yeah. one? No, right there is good. Okay. I'm going to uh, activate Radiant Cancer. Because it's the only AoE thing I've got. Okay. Uh, can you link that again so I can see it? I don't... I remember it, but I don't remember it. 
Okay, that's the 10 foot radius. Uh, the, not when you start it, it's on the beginning of their turn. No, it's on my turn. On your turn. In addition, once on each of your turns, you can deal. Okay. Wait, I thought creatures within within the light took damage. Yeah, they take radiant damage at the end of each of your turns. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm I'm back now. <laughs> and I did get hit with that one. So where's my constitution? There it is. That's my saving throw for when I got hit for the opportunity attack. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, because you were concentrating on uh... divine favor. All right. Okay. You can and... have my level, so I'm level eight. So four. So nine damage. So Okay. As uh, this light washes over these wisps, it uh, destroys the one uh, that was assaulting Oseus. Hey. And causes the other two nearby to recoil in pain. Uh, their lights dimming slightly. Anything else for your turn? No, that's all I got. Okay. Uh, this one that was up here by Bon, unaware of where he went off to, is going to move down towards Nikolai. And he's going to make a shock towards him. For uh, 22 to hit. Oh, yep. That is 10 lightning damage. Okay. That will end its turn. Bon, you were up. Tim, you're oh, next. Oh. oh boy. Oh my boy. Friends in... Oh boy, guys. My friend's in danger. Uh, steady aim. And uh try to hit that wisp away from my friend. Um, it is on the other side of the stone railing of the staircase. Oh so sorry, sorry. I'm gonna tiptoe around so I can. Uh, so I won't be able to steady aim. I'm gonna tiptoe around. Okay, you're stealthily moving around the corner. I got you. Sneaky boy, sneaky boy. And okay. If you don't have to steady aim, you're still hidden. <laughs> What's that? You're still hidden. You don't, have to, you don't have to steady aim. Yeah, you are still. You are. Oh, still that's right. From stealth. And I'm gonna throw. Okay, go knife. ahead and make an attack with advantage. I, uh... Okay, that hits. And as your dagger flies out into the center of this orb, it uh. Let's out a scream of pain and just pops out of existence. Yay! Sweet. Anything right. else? Your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna. My other knife is gonna go to. This one. Okay. Uh, that hits, and uh, as your second dagger flies out, it strikes into it, and it also dies away with a scream. Wow, two kills, good job. I finally did something. Okay, I'm gonna hide back into bushes. <laughs> I mean, I can't actually like use it to hide, but I'm thinking I'm gonna hide. Okay, Tim, you are up. All right, let's, uh, this guy's in my, oh, is he not in my range? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is, all right. Let's smack him with my, my glaive. Fuck. The Ooh. swing is just a little too wide. Boom! As you strike out with your second attack, though, it connects right with the center, and Ooh. it uh, That's rough. slashes slashes the orb in half, wow, finishing it, it off. Nice. Um, what else? One thing. One else. One other thing. We gotta feed this last level. Let me try this. Well, what's the range? Uh, oh, never mind. Too far. <laughs> oh, that's all. Okay, uh, Nikolai, you are up. 
Uh... Magic missile. Okay, which one? I don't know. I don't care. Whichever one of these look worse. Um, this one looks the dimmest. Then he shall be even dimmer. You get okay. two more bolts. Uh, yeah, two more bolts. Okay, as uh, the first two connect into it, it uh, almost dims out completely, but is still uh, floating there. And the third one strikes into it, and it screams as it disappears. Abracadabra. Anything else with your turn? No, that's it. Okay, Sazed, you're up. Sazed's up. Oh, that's really far away. I will move right to behind Tem here. Okay. Then I mean, I'm gonna Kadavra. Take out two cards and throw them both at this stupid wisp. Hope we okay. get arcade damage because you could throw a card sure. sixty feet. That is impressive. Right? They're magic cards, though. They do like elemental. Like, I'm, I'm picturing Gambit fucking oh, just chucking. That's not a great roll. No. Well. A 12 does not hit. Second one, though, is really good. 26. 26 does hit. And let's go to that peak with our card thing. It is. What is that? Spades? Flashing and cold. Oh, four slashing, four cold. Okay, as the card, the first card uh, strikes into the building behind it, the second one strikes into the orb, and uh, you see a small blast of cold, and uh, the orb recoils from the pain. Uh, most of it does appear to be hurt that's gonna be it okay Raylan you're up all right werewolf slash okay it hits oh man how do you want to do this yeah <laughs> I want to just reach up slash at it and like pull it in and then I bite it and have it just dissipate in my mouth. Oh, okay. Uh, as you as you reach out and slash into this orb with your claws, and then take a huge bite out of the uh, orb, you hear this screech as this uh, spectral energy just explodes around your face. Combat is over. That was abrupt. Well. The spirits were not very friendly. I'm going to go over here and take a breather for about an hour. If anyone wishes to join me. I Please. think we could probably set up camp somewhere. I'm just going to walk right here and fall asleep behind this little wall in this little camp. Don't hole. trust the inside of there. I'm going to go over here. I'm hurting real bad. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go camp with Sazen. <laughs> I'm gonna go, yeah. uh... We're gonna huddle up. It'll be great. Okay, so you're going, uh, just outside of the courtyard back where Nagel was? Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm basically. gonna go back towards Nagel. That was a, that was a good, like, little area, right, that I found? It, yes, it did, it did seem like a fairly decent clearing. You could probably, uh, move some stuff around and make a tent. I'm gonna make a little, little campfire. Okay. Don't uh, forget our, uh, we have our little carriage over there. You can bring that over if you want. Not that big of an opening. Sounds We're gonna good. Get, leave it there. Nope. We'll uh, make ourselves a little... We'll camp with that. Okay, so you take the carriage over there to the road nearby. Find a bunch of pieces of wood, throw them in a pile, and... press the digitation of fire on it. Okay. You... Uh, I'll start to gather around the tent, or, uh, Raylan, are you sleeping over there in the, uh, 
Yeah, tower. Seven, seven hit points. He's just going to walk in there and fall asleep. Okay. Okay, try to sleep. Oh, we, are we going to bed for the night? We should have went to the winery. I thought, <laughs> I thought we were just going to rest for an hour. Are we knocking down for the night? It's late, right? It's like super late. Middle of the night, yeah, right. Is it? It is definite. It is, uh... It, it would be... It'd be evening. Um, Nikolai, give me an intelligence check. I'm afraid to. Wait, we could see the moon when we were riding up here. Yes. It would be, um, somewhere between 10 and 11 p.m. Oh, it is late. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I will set up camp then. Oh, Bon! I will cast alarm around the camp. Bon, yes. I'm really tired. Do you think you could set up uh, our, my tent for me and as well as the other stuff? <laughs> Blow me. I will cast a suggestion. <laughs> I think it's still <laughs> active, actually. That's I, I, I know. I have oh, to, yeah, I have to cast it again. Yeah, yeah. And I thought yeah. it was just for that one, um, that one task or whatever, right? Yeah, it's or, just for one a, task. Give me a wisdom yeah. save, uh, okay, Bob. Come, come on, natural twenty, natural twenty. Don't fuck me now. <laughs> you are not successful on the save, and uh, I would be delighted. To, you, you know what? Up. That sounds like a grand idea. Where, 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 where's those poles? Where's the stake? Let's, you are let's my favorite this. member of this group. You know, I got a funny feeling something was. I would have. I would have actually no idea what I. <laughs> no. Not, not it you would. You would have from earlier that you would have known he definitely did it to you earlier. It doesn't but you say that on this spell. Uh, on the other spell, it does. does it? On friends, it and like the other one, it says on the spell, you know that you were a target of a spell. This one does not say that. Oh so yeah, then I you guess wouldn't. that would be up if to you. No, if it doesn't to. say it, does the. Okay. The yeah, because I remember I reading that when you used it against the bandit, and that's why I had him react like, "Oh, why did I say that? Let's just panic and kill them." <laughs> you know what? I don't really particularly like the way you looked at me when you asked that question, but. I'm still delighted to do it. I know you are. Thank you very much. We all appreciate everything you bring to this group. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start figuring out different uh, means of attack, I think. <laughs> you know what? I'm mm. gonna... Cast sending to. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna cast it twice. You won't. First time. Who was it that warned us about the evil guy? It was Isaac, right? Isaac and Rectavio. Yeah, okay, about Rectavio. Yeah, we're going to see him. I'm gonna cast sending to Isaac. <sighs> Uh, okay. Strong hand. Hello. So that uh, evil headless horseman. One more ring. We ring. took care of him. He's dead. You're welcome. That's about it. Just 13, thought I'd 16, let you 17, know. 18, 19. Hope everything's 20. well there. Love you. 25. 25. Yeah. Oh, 25? Yeah. <laughs> I was only 20. <laughs> There's a slight hesitation before a response. You've killed the horseman? This is incredible. That's unbelievable. I... I will have to uh, make sure I let everyone know of that this has transpired. Oh, using big words to get across that. Be nice. I like it. <laughs> and the other one is uh, just going to be the uh, Talia. Tally? Tally. Tally. 
Natalia, not Talia. At the at Talia at the house. What is that what you're talking about? Talia, yeah. I don't know. Tali. Hello, Tali. We're going to be gone for a while longer. How is everything at the house? Any more people show up? How's Otto? A uh, strange man came out of the basement. He had a lot of cats. <laughs> he said that he knew you all and it was okay if he lived here. <laughs> Wait, did we? What? Did we agree to that? Guys, did we and agree that's... to let the Burgermeister's son stay at our house? I think... Uh... And... Uh... And he brought his cats no. with him, too. I guess did we didn't we have do a, a very room? good job disabling that teleport pad. I mean, we were trying to fix it and change it, not, but we were also kind of letting him do a... No, we... the one at our house is sabotaged. We tried to sabotage it. We didn't really get a lot of time. But we also oh. kind of linked them ourselves, didn't we, when we were doing Where is our he? work there? Whose room is he in? That is a good Where's... question. Wait, no, wait, didn't we have a did we have a spare bedroom? You know what, no, Tim? I will I feel like we had to like build a bed the house for Tully. So long. I don't even remember this. I will you know ask him. Sure. The more the merrier. I will ask him, but it's going to take 20 gold that I have to consume to cast this next spell. If you want to lend it, I'll ask him what room he's staying in. Uh, it's not I don't that like serious. Uh, oh, did you, uh... That's why it's auto uh, just a sing a uh, song of rest or anything fun We're like that? going to sleep. Why would I sing a song of rest? You want a nighttime oh, yeah. story? A bedtime story? Is that what you want? After today? He wants maybe. to hold him. <laughs> Before we go to sleep, I want to try and change back into human form. I want to go outside and just really concentrate and try and change back like I normally do, back into human form. Go outside. Okay. Aren't we outside? Or, you know, walk a little bit away. Okay. Um, as uh, as Bon uh, struggles to single-handedly put up the tent, um, unless Nikolai decided to assist. No, and uh, no. says it sends finishes sending off his messages. Um, Dresley walks off towards uh, the ruins over there, uh, not far from you, uh, Raylan. Uh, you see her in that room with Oseus. Um and uh, Tem. You find yourself unable to uh, just maybe twenty feet or more away from the rest of the group, unable to transform back into a human. Uh, no matter how you try to activate it or uh, transform back, uh, it becomes fairly frustrating, actually. Uh, how it doesn't even seem like it's accessible in the same way that transforming is. It's called a curse, motherfucker. Mm. And okay. uh, that, before everyone lays down for the long rest tonight, is where we're going to end tonight's session.